You're already recording. All right, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> ready. We're live. Are we live? Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not waiting for the. Yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 76th Uh-oh. episode of DCP. I wanted to do something like. Hello and welcome to Soldier 76, the official Soldier 76 uh, podcast discussion, now an Overwatch podcast. Uh, I think I'm still going to title it that just because, you know, you know, Overwatch League and like it it totally drive us. No matter how much you explain this joke, it's still not landing. No. No. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, so uh, as another forewarning, uh, uh, well, first off, we don't have a guest this week. It's just us. Second of all, it is both Briar Rabbit and Pope's birthday. Uh, hey, Pope, this happy week. birthday, man. Hey, Briar. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you. Is I, the, say, you're I the think best. I like Briar's hat best. better. No, you're the best. Oh, you're it's the fluffy best. and it's funny. They've already been Briar's drinking, and they have a drinking game that they are currently birthday playing. <laughs> Um, the birthday and it's got birthday. a little headband. Oh, oh I love it. Awesome. They're playing a drinking game. This is going to be great. Anyway. Yeah. Um. Everyone's drinking and they have a secret drinking game. So if you mm-hmm. guys can guess what their game is, uh, put it in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it they guess? Also ding, they, ding, they ding a ding. They ding a they ding. They have bells. bells when they do and the I'm also drinking along in the attempt of playing along with them, but I don't know what the rules are. So at some point... <laughs> They could just start fucking with me and getting me to drink. If, if my wife is watching. <laughs> well, that's what the wow. bell is for. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> she heard it. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, yeah. Didn't think you'd do that on your birthday. Anyway, uh, do you guys want to get, get get through the destiny stuff so we can start sure. bullshitting? Start with our there birthday plans here. There was a thwob. Yeah, it was a thwob. Thwob. A thwob-y. <laughs> okay, you guys didn't. Okay, everyone. I didn't read them, it very well, to be honest. Everyone seems it. to not like it this week. I actually am like, uh, aside hey, from right. answer these questions oh. for me, please, Patrick. Go then, Patrick. Uh huh. Answer these questions. Okay, ask some then. <laughs> Are there any numbers on anything of like value, numeric values for anything? Uh, numeric values for anything. Yes. Uh, this week at Bungie has a date. Uh, three okay. fifteen. Right. Uh, so you're avoiding yeah, the answers. Hmm. Um, uh, it was posted three hours, hours ago right. by Cosmo. I'm just are going there any? Page. Are there any? Um, is there any content that we are looking forward to seeing that isn't already created that they're discussing or sharing with us? Faction yes. wars. There is. Yeah. There, there you go. Faction what? wars is there. Faction Wars. This will be your last chance for earning stuff. Let me anyway. Um, uh, Faction Wars will be taking some time off while we work to make the event even better. Mm. We spoke with the season team about their goals for the upcoming Faction Rallies improvements planned for season three. This is from the oh, season this team. Is where I stopped reading. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, okay. So anyway, <laughs> season team. We have been reviewing player feedback on Faction Rallies and are planning to make some fundamental changes to the event. Here are a few of the overall goals we are trying to achieve. This is just their goals for it. And I frankly, I like these because it shows a change in, okay, whatever. Pledging to a faction should be a meaningful choice. Yes. I agree. I agree with that. Does that I mean think it's going to be an account based pledge? I don't yes. fucking know. I would but think so. Well, I, we know I'm you don't know, yes. Patrick. Yes, Briar. Don't <laughs> get upset about that. He's oh, yeah. asking a hypothetical. I, okay. Yes. Okay. I, Take can it I get down through? a notch, Captain. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a conversation, <laughs> man. Usually Briar does this, but he's the birthday boy. So Where, for some reason, where's your beer at, Patrick? Patrick, where's your beer? Right here. Okay. Take a drink. Briar, take us the lead into the. Oh, to Garen's gift. Drink it. All right, so gift. like Patrick said, pledging to a faction should be a meaningful choice. Hopefully, I hope that that means that it's going to be account based, right? Like yes. that's the dream to me, because having it character based means it has no impact on you whatsoever. And whatsoever. What else could they do yeah. though? Well, make they make it account based. No, I mean aside, aside from that, what else could they do to make it meaningful? Oh, there's a lot of things. Um, first of all, they could they could make the rewards um, worth getting. Well, okay. That doesn't make you pick one (laughs) faction. (laughs) Yeah, no, we're talking about like if you go Future War Cult, which I'm really disappointed that Future War Cult hasn't won yet. But if you go Future War Cult and that's your faction, like what is the meaning behind always picking Future War Cult? What's what's stopping you from having one character with new monarchy as well? Yeah, exactly. Another one with Dead Orbit. Um, Well, first of all, it's account based. So you said there was a (laughs) ton of things. I want to know what these tons of things are that they could do. No, I, I'm starting there. I, I'm you, you. It's like I, you said. First of all, for God's sakes, 
That's the first of all. But, right. So, 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 so we're saying all. what else yeah, besides what else? Be, being <laughs> account-based? Or do you want to just pick apart, like, my first thing? Well, I'm, both I'm options with that are, because... frankly, very appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> Fact is that they could do a lot to have us vested in the uh, the faction rallies, making them meaningful. <laughs> One of the things that they could do is attach story or dialogue lore that they pull out of each faction as you um, as you progress through ranking them up. So if you're choosing to... Um, why do I want to? Right now, it's very empty. I want to be a future war cult because I like the way their shader looks or their gun or whatever. I think that's very surface level and very empty. So if you're going to want me to be future war cult, then make me tell me a story, right? So you, know? you want like a if campaign? Gonna, if, I have a question. If you want me to hook up with you, at least take me out to dinner and buy me a meal. You know, I have, I don't, I have a question for you, Pope. How does that story stop you from pledging Cindy Monarchy or Ted Orman? To get their stories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How about it? <laughs> Maybe like, I don't know. Remember wait, remember, wait. In, in, remember in D1 how there was like a thing where, oh, you reach rank you 25. Phrase. Remember in D1. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, well we're going to keep referring to it until we can, you know, no longer. Rank 25 in the faction? It. Yeah, rank 25 special? in the faction, you would get the quest for the exotic, exotic yeah. cloak. Well, what if you rank up enough that would mean that pledging to a faction means that I am choosing to do something with this faction, not just, hey, I want these rewards, but, hey, I want to, you know, forward the progress in the faction to get this other thing. Um, what? So, so if, I get that one. if you bell. pledge... If you pledge to a faction on all three characters, then you would progress faster toward maybe, maybe, end, end game rewards. Yeah. End game? End game? <laughs> I'm sorry. Rewards? <laughs> I mean, some kind of reward, right? Is it, if well, that's what Patrick said, right? If if it was, if there was a reward at reaching level 25 with a faction, then pledging on all three characters could could level you increase up faster, it faster, right? right? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's got to be account based. Mm-hmm. Like it's got to be. Probably. It should Probably. have been right at the beginning. Uh, should <laughs> I go for a this is the second one here of uh, rewards should not be time gated? What 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 do you think that means? Um Well, they kind of did away with that a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I agree that's like uh, that's kind of like an add in. Yeah, like agreed. Rewards time gated rewards is bad. It's bad. Well, you know what it is? I feel it's, like- it's the fact that they said, here's all, we didn't have weapons on the first rally, and then we just had these trickled-in effect of weapons with all with rally stuff. I think they're realizing that that was a really bad choice to do yes. for seasonal content. Yeah, okay. that's true. I agree. How do we feel about at- endgame rewards over time-gated, though? How about how about endgame? You mean like, like actual loot to chase? End there was game? no bell. It's fine. We don't need to talk about it. There's oh, no okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. Yes. Trying to get that bell. All right. Yeah. Did I miss a bell? Probably. No. Yeah. No. You missed the bell. No. Ding. You better drink, Briar. <laughs> <laughs> you did not miss a bell, Briar. They're just messing with you. <laughs> oh, suddenly. Right. Okay. I see, Pope. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, what's the next? Faction Rally oh. should provide a unique gameplay experience and not simply be a reward layer on top of the existing game. This I is like the one that. that got you excited, right, Patrick? Hell yeah. This Dude, this, excited. All that Faction Rallies are right now is, hey, do you, do you like playing the game? I hope that answer is yes, because you're basically going to get more more stuff for playing the game. If that answer is no, oh boy, you must really have to like this loot to actually play hey, the Guardian, game. Hey, Guardian, do you like tokens? Because I got yeah, lots you like of tokens. tokens. Do you like grinding for an about- auto rifle that has auto loader on it? Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm calling it. I mean, 3v3v3. I did it. 4v4v4. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to, to me, yeah, to Ooh, me, that yes. says like 4v4v4. maybe some other activity. Uh, it says unique gameplay experience. So, mm-hmm. okay, that that could mean a lot of different things. Hopefully, it, it means some sort of new activity. We've seen them like branching out a little bit with. Uh, I mean, we got Rumble coming back, right? We got uh, mm-hmm. 6v6 coming back in some yeah. manner. You know, they they seems like they're going to be doing some some weird stuff with PvP. Cool, get weird. Faction rallies bring in that two v two v two. I would love that. I want to fight people in other factions. Yeah. I want it to be. I want to like really get behind the faction that I'm with and be like taken down, new barn. Mm-hmm. For whatever. the record, that was one of the ideas that I was going to bring up. 
Great. Excellent birthday been? boy. Good job. <laughs> Let's get a bell. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> uh, so, yes, I agree. I think 4v4v4 for a faction war would be amazing. I'd love that for a PvP experience. But it's not going to replace the fact that they need some sort of PvE thing in the game to replace Agreed. what faction rally they is. They would need some. And what if it's 3v3v3? But it has PVE in it as well. It's PVPVE. I mean, I'm down for that too. But it that still it still needs something that's PVE in the game that you grind towards. It does need to be a PVE, yeah, like event, yeah. Right? Because there's already Iron Banner, which is PVP. There's got to be a PVE one. Yes. Like it just makes sense. What? I'm not gonna lie. You're much better at this than I am, Pope. This is gonna be a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. It's when they it. say something. Yeah. Is that what it is? It's when they say something. Well, yeah. no, because they said they did something when Tefty did something. Yeah, right? when I was not paying attention. Yeah, when I wasn't paying attention, mm. too. I wasn't paying attention to what it was, so I didn't get to understand <laughs> it. Damn. Okay, that's not it. Anyway, uh, the event should grant additional insight into faction lore and goals. Holy shit. Goals? Uh, lore and goals? Yeah. You, you, we we've been we've been asking for this since D one. We want more lore about the faction. We want to know what the hell they they mean, not just a, a simple like you know three sentences when you when you try to pledge to them. You know, I want we want actual lore in the game, hmm. preferably not not through like my name is Bife, but well, okay. whatever well, that he, he'd voice a couple if you wanted to. Yeah, he he yeah. Could, he could he could voice it. It's fine, but uh, you know, I want I want to see the stuff in the game. I don't want to have to. Read about it. Game? The game? In the game? Pope, can you hear my bell? Oh, Pope's too <laughs> drunk to actually hear the fucking yeah, bell. Yeah, I heard it. I was like, Pope isn't drinking. I heard that fine. <laughs> Maybe they should put the bell in the game. Faction lore and goals. You know, any kind of flavor they can add to the world of Destiny, I think is good, especially for PvE players. Um, what worries me right now about the Destiny like story and lore is that they seem to have completely like disregarded Destiny One, right? It's like you know they've taken a step back from the darkness. They've taken a step back from you know probably half a dozen things that you know like guys like Bife and Mylan Games made videos about, right? Mm -hmm. and they just threw it. I away. don't know. I don't know. Like throwing it away was the right word, but. They pushed it aside. They were like, this has been fun, but we need to see other lore. It's not you, lore. Yeah. It's me, lore. You're, you've now become Sorry, my lore. side lore. Yeah. You know how you know how Destiny 1 players were asking, we want we want the lore in the game? Mm -hmm. Like I, I kind of feel like there was like a fundamental misunderstanding about what we were asking for and what, what the message received was. Because what we were asking for was we liked what, what the Grimoire was. We just wanted to see the Grimoire cards in the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. We wanted that that's, stuff that's really it. Game, Right? <laughs> we're like, and, give us kiosks. We wanted like a library. <laughs> and what yeah. they did was they definitely improved the story of Destiny 2, right? It's playing through the campaign, going through the, going through the adventures. Like there's much more story and it's a much more coherent story than what was in Destiny 1, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But they completely removed the grimoire altogether. Yeah, it, it's like they didn't continue the story of Destiny. In a way. Right. They were like, well, this happened. And some other stuff we, that we're going to forget about. But let's just focus on this thing that happened now. Yeah. 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 You guys ever uh, played last... Magic the Gathering? Well, I never heard of it. <laughs> nope. The last okay. thing on the uh, list Warcraft. is it should build upon player uh, interest uh, in Lost <laughs> Sectors and Armor <laughs> Ornament Objectives. <laughs> I don't get so it. So they're basically saying this is going to be PvE, right? <laughs> if it builds upon the interest of Lost Sectors? Um, That's right. Yes. No one's listening anymore. We're just trying to figure out the game. <laughs> we're try we're trying to go. figure out this stupid fucking drinking game. We're not paying there attention. There is no drinking game. <laughs> no. That's irresponsible. But uh, there's bells and there's drinking mm -hmm. when certain things happen. Mm -hmm. I feel like the bell is just an added sound effect to an already awesome podcast. You know, just, we're just, just trying, trying to, to make points that need to be made. Have some fun. Just have some fun, guys. <laughs> Have some fun. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let's just have some fun. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right, so that's the TWAB. 
That's a problem. <laughs> I mean, that that, that that's that's that's, 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 that, that's the that's what I really wanted to talk about in in there. Then we got we got Nightfall top scores, which hey, lost sector farming. The scores are super inflated. Let's see what happens when uh when that. Uh, uh, are you guys interested in any of the new weapons? We got like shotguns and a submachine gun. No. Okay. Yeah, there's there's some interesting <sighs> guns there, but without any of the stats March there, there's no yeah. Yeah. there's no desire. Like, like the gun itself is interesting. The look of it, right? They got good looks. But, I mean, but, yeah, I've seen that exact same model in many right, other weapons. But that's the point: is that for us to engage in wanting to be a part of this. It's just like we were talking about. I don't have no problem with curated roles, right? Right. As long as there's plenty of the of these types of events where they're dropped, but they should be highlighting those roles, right? They should be getting us excited about some something else. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you know, in in D one, <clears throat> rolling back to D one once again, we had curated roles, and they were some of the best ones in the game. But then we also had the random roles random. as well to mm-hmm. complement it. And that made a very exciting. That, that made a, a way for people to get in the game, hunt for specific weapons that they're after, and then their long game was go after an Eyes Luna. Okay. Okay. What? I just want to say I'm not really excited for weapons when I've seen the exact same models, uh, you know, about twenty times before. So when you show me a weapon that's, oh, I remember that. That looks like that looks like Hawthorne shotgun, or not Hawthorne's, whatever. Hmm. I've seen the model before. I do like the future war called sniper rifle. That's a really dope looking sniper rifle. Uh, yeah, it looks cool, and I, I definitely want that sniper rifle with the new. I bet I really think they should be talking roles here. They should give us stats on these guns, not just pictures of them. If they want us to get excited about it, that's my yeah. Opinion. The thing is, though, if it's just the same shit that we've got now, nobody's going to be very excited. Well, about you know what I need on the shotgun? I need but the it's ammo be to different. regenerate. It's different. That's what I need. Like, like a sniper rifle. Like a sniper. Call, call it. It's a gonna be different. <laughs> it's gotta be different. It's not it's gotta, gotta be. be different. Call it a sauna or something. Call it a. Call it a heat. A, a boat. You can call it a boat. Icebreaker is a boat. Heat creator. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Heat creator. Huh? Mm-hmm. 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 Well, I'm I'm definitely interested in season three. It sounds like they're taking it seriously. They're gonna do something different. Um, it's gonna be. I I know the the people that are working on it are already delving into Reddit and they're focusing on it. Um, it's it's definitely they're getting player feedback on it, so it's not just our opinions here. But this is these are a good series of the, these these marching orders are good. I like yeah. them. I think they hit the high points. It is currently six thirty p.m. Excellent. Um, is it time to wake up? To make sure you guys knew that. Set that was that a timer bad. before the podcast. That's incorrect. Um, it's that was nine thirty. It is definitely 6.30. Yeah. <laughs> what um, does that mean? Hey, guys. Oh, yeah. is that your gumbo? Uh, I don't know. What? Before we move on, I feel like, you know, we're friends here. I've got a, I've got a real confession to make. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have been cheating at Destiny for the last three days. Uh-oh. I've, I've seen this, this uh, <laughs> saga, if you will, no. developing on, uh, tw- uh, on Twitch because I have been unnaturally up at, uh, like, times when you're up. Yeah. Like what time of the night? Uh, like what time of the morning, Pope? Like, are you like how are you doing that though? If you're like if you've been up all night, I, I because Patrick's I've been, been streaming for me at like eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah I've no, been I've stupid. been on Briar it's, time. It's, it's yeah, aren't you oh, aren't yeah. you tired at that time like of, of the of the day? Not when I fuck up my sleep schedule. Anyway, uh, okay. Bri- Briar, do yeah. explain this uh, this cheating that you were talking about. Yeah. So I'm PC. I've been playing PC since PC came out. Right? Yeah. And yes. It's, it's actually, I really enjoy playing the game on PC. Part of the thing is, obviously, you know, unlimited frames per second is amazing. The game looks beautiful on a $3,500 PC. <laughs> Telling <laughs> me. But there's a huge problem on PC, and that is <laughs> that is that there's literally like eight people playing at any point yeah. in time. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so like I'll I'll play Crucible and I want to play Crucible because I'm one of the few people who does enjoy the Crucible <laughs> in its current state. I want to go in and play Crucible, but I literally get matched up against like I'll see I'll I'll stream for four hours and play Crucible for four hours and I'll see the same dudes in my lobby the whole stream, right? Like the entire stream. So I want like I had some interest in going back to PS4. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But over the last 
few months, I've really gotten used to using a mouse and keyboard and playing Destiny. Controller is kind of awkward, isn't it? A little, I feel a little bit like a like your chimpanzee who's been beat over the head with a very large hammer. <laughs> So on a side I, note, uh, an article came out saying that. Uh, uh, never mind. Go go ahead. So I went ahead and I bought a, a Zim uh, Apex controller adapter. Oh, okay? so this is a mouse and keyboard adapter. Okay, not you sponsored. Plug it into your PlayStation Four. Not a, not a sponsor. Yeah. Um, you plug it into your PlayStation Four or Xbox, and you can plug in a mouse and keyboard and play with a mouse and keyboard um, on, you know, on a console. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, isn't that cheating? I got to tell you, it's definitely fucking cheating. <laughs> <laughs> there is no doubt. You have all of the precision of mouse and keyboard. It feels different than playing with a mouse and keyboard on PC because you're literally like translating your mouse movements to like what a right stick would do. So it feels different and it, it takes a lot of setup. But you essentially have the precision of a mouse to aim in addition to aim assist mm-hmm. yep. that comes with using a controller. I feel like I can't lose a gunfight. Hmm. <laughs> <Interesting>. <laughs> like, and you guys know me. I'm not, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm average at best in the crucible. Average yeah, yeah. 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 When I play with this Zim apex, like I can't lose a gunfight. Like, I literally can't use, lose a gunfight. It's ridiculous. It's I kind of want to, I kind of want to go against you now. Like me, okay. just use a controller, and then you use your use your one cheating v, bullshit, one bro. V one. Yeah, one v one me, bro. Let's go. It's well in a little bit when we get in a little bit. Yeah, it's like, okay. yeah. So like uh, specifically using an auto rifle. <laughs> private matches. Auto rifle is ridiculous. Like the the, you have to get somewhere close to your opponent. Uh, click the fire, click the left mouse button, and you just get headshots until the guy dies hmm. immediately. Oh, yeah. Bullet magnetism is a lot stronger on console. It's very, it's very strong. Yeah, very strong. Very strong. And it's about to get better on hand cannons. Yeah. Like on oh, hand yeah, cannons, crispy. Hand cannons is a little harder to use with the Zim because you still have to, you know, basically aim uh, as opposed to an auto rifle where you just kind of get close to the dude and watch him die. It's ridiculous. Like it is ridiculous. I'm I'm surprised at how much of an advantage this thing gives me. Hmm. Because we've been I've been kind of like watching this over the years, and everybody in the Destiny community has kind of accepted, like, uh, you know, they're not that bad. Mm-hmm. There's pluses and minuses. Yeah, there's definitely minuses. I mean, it doesn't feel like a mouse and keyboard on a right. PC. Yeah, plus you got the the field of view and the 30 FPS also. That's not a minus when you're playing other PlayStation 4 players. No, but like to the way it feels. Like if you go back to PC, you're going to have to adjust yeah. the, your sensitivity and all that with how the mouse feels. Yeah, it's 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 crazy, man. Like I, I'm really I'm surprised at how much of an advantage it gives you. Like I really am. Very interesting. Uh, yeah. Like I, I'd, I'd suggest, you know, if anybody, you know, has that kind of disposable income, these things are like 100 bucks. It's not that expensive. Um, if anybody has a disposable income, like give it a shot because it's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It's such an advantage. Sniping, you just, I mean, you use the mouse to get somewhere close to the guy's head, click the button, and the guy's dead. I've definitely considered uh, picking up a Zim. I really have. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Highly recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> I've considered because uh, I, I enjoy the mouse and keyboard experience and going back to console, like sometimes the, um, Sometimes a mount or a controller just isn't there for me. I feel I feel you, Tefty. I feel drunk. Like you used the word a few a few podcasts ago. You feel like drunk. You drunk because you, you are drunk, drunk Brian. That's true. <laughs> 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 but I like I played for three years on a on a controller, and then I moved to keyboard and mouse when Destiny Two came out. <laughs> I can't go back to a, a controller without like feeling like literally. Like, like you're drunk. How was I doing this for three years? I know, man. It's weird. Especially with hand cannons. But hand cannons don't feel as good in Destiny 2 as they did in Destiny 1. Mm-hmm. Hopefully that's going to fix in the March 27th update. Guys, is the bell correlated at all to me stroking my beard? Yes. Okay. And it's ridiculous oh. because you've been stroking your beard since the beginning. So it's like, when do I <laughs> when do I hit the bell? Like when he stops and then goes back? Because you just kind of... 
been doing this like the entire time. <laughs> it's not just the beard stroke. There's well, it's there, not touching because I feel like it's us. when I stroke my beard. Oh. That's when I notice. Oh, no. It's something what? bad for what? me, isn't it? Twirl your hair or something like that. I think that might be one of them, too. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, man, I, I'm I I am legit like surprised at how much like it really does help you. Like, and mm. it's crazy. It's worth checking Is it out. If I butt in, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's just rude. Uh, that's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just gonna sort through some magic cards. Maybe that <laughs> might be a trigger for one of the bells or something. You know. Ooh. No. You drank? No? Okay. I, mean, just, I, think you just, I think you just wanted to drink. Was I just drinking for the dr- no, sake of drinking? Yeah. No bell. See, I, no bell, no I picked up on the beard thing a while ago, and so I've been testing it uh, and also trying to like abuse it here and there, too. Yeah. Yeah, you've been stroking that beard pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're going to get like a beard loss. Oh, no, no, no. I'm careful. There's no tugging. No tugging. No, no, no tugging. Yeah. No. Yeah. <sighs> mm. Well, guys, I've been training really hard for uh, yeah. Magic the Gathering tournament coming That's up. Great, man. Just wanted sure. to let you guys know. That's fascinating. Let's That's talk about great. something else. <laughs> <sighs> man, one day these days, Briar will not be on the podcast. And, and you then, had your damn opportunity last week. Yeah. I know, but Pope was oh, also here, just, and I need just like so you Pope. know. Briar, we, um, I got every single. You know, there's a lot of magic <laughs> questions and. Holt's questions that don't make it into the podcast. And when it was my turn to ask the questions, mm-hmm. I put them all in there. You put all the magic questions? I put all of them yeah, in there. Yeah, he didn't fall for it. And I was leave, thankful. This is, a, uh, this is a magic podcast. Yeah, it was great. I don't know. I, I need I need both Pope and Briar to like not be here to actually properly nerd out on my Magic the Gathering stuff. It's almost okay? like you need a podcast without... The rest of us here <laughs> to exclusively talk and about other magic. People I think that's called magic. a stream. And maybe you could even host it over on IGN, who seems to be interested in such a podcast. Yeah, I have not talked to him since I was like, "Hey, we should do a podcast through IGN or something." Right? <laughs> that's a good. I have point. not talked to him. You should since really then. do something about talking to them. I really should. It, let me here. Let, let's, let's just go. Hey, uh, let me let me find Fran. You definitely don't get, need to do it live right now. No, I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to do right it live. Right now is not a good idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah do it right now. Stream it. Hey, it on- so, you certainly don't need to describe yeah, you, each letter you're typing. Yeah. Why hey, are you still interested? You don't need to in mouth it and talk it through. All right. So, what do you guys want to talk about? Podcast question mark. Um, how? Okay, well, I, I'm I'm kind of wondering what you guys have to say about the Zim thing, man. Like, I'm curious. Like, I think in I think in a way. My opinion on it. It's the I same way. It. I'll tell you my opinion. All right, Watson. Well, I apologize to cut you off because I, no, I just I, didn't want to judge my feather fellow birthday brother. Mm. But it's cheers, cheers brother. There you go, cheat, guys. That's that. That <laughs> there, there is cheating there at AF. Ring that. Ring <laughs> that. You're not a brother. It's different. Brother. It's different <laughs> than a. I feel it's different than like a scuff controller because you're. It's not. A, it's not a. It's not tricking the console into thinking that it's a keyboard or it's, it's still giving the same inputs. The, 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 that can, that, but that you device, would agree that a scuff controller, a controller with paddles gives you an advantage over a controller without paddles. A modified controller gives you an advantage over. Yeah, but you can play, you can play bumper jumper mm-hmm. That's true. for a similar effect. So Hobie my, doesn't my, like Hobie's my, one my, my like, point is, is that it, the console thinks you're on a, controller so it is giving you a different set of rules than you would if it thought you were on a keyboard and mouse for a reason what? right i mean that's what the device does is it it's fooling it's yeah. fooling the playstation into thinking there's so a, why well, there so is the a question controller I ask, plugin. so i ask you the question why does it be, why does that company design something to fool the playstation because you can hook up a keyboard and mouse to a playstation and play it and it, it will see that you have a keyboard and mouse connected. That, that is correct. You can actually right. buy a officially supported PlayStation mouse and keyboard mm-hmm. and play Destiny with a mouse and keyboard officially supported, I believe. Yes. By a Hori, right? Yes. I haven't done this Did you call me? You heard me. You heard. 
So I don't know, man. It's 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 to me it's like the modded controllers that like had auto fire, you know, where you just held down the trigger and it and it and it mechanically mm. you know, it it, it it shot the yeah. the bullets for Look, you. Look, if you it's know. allowed in Those tournaments, then games. it's fine. It's not allowed in tournaments. No, no that, those aren't, but like scuff a, a scuff is. is. No, and we're not talking about a scuff. Patrick, I, we're I, talking I about a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> so the only tournament I've ever watched live, Dr. Lupo was using one of these things on the main stage at Garden High. Mm-hmm. And, uh, to, and for, for the record, he didn't make it to the final round. There that sounds like I'm dogging on Lupo. He's paid for no, my romp. Why do you hate that's, Lupo so much? No, that's, 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 him. Make, that's saying he's in not cheating. like this? Good lord. Not a cheater. I'm saying he was he was on the same you, he was Patty. on the same level as everyone else. Then at, at, at a truly competitive standpoint, you know, you're when you're competing against each other, you have both you have more factors than just the input device. You also got the team, you got your communication, yeah. you got maybe your spawns got messed up. There's so much stuff that goes into it, but not yet. Yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna ask Lupo. Uh, you know, I owe you some ramen or something like that. I don't know. It's okay. He doesn't listen to me. Yeah, he, 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 he doesn't, doesn't watch. <laughs> he's he's making it big. He's playing Fortnite. Speaking yeah, of Fortnite, he's, he's doing awesome at Fortnite. Speak, well, hold speaking on, hold of on, like, before we go to Fortnite, oh, I want to I want to say yeah, like that's such a good segue. No, I didn't do get to give my opinion about it because I, I like oh, I yeah man. It was a premature segue. Yeah, premature man. Uh, premature, you're always man. prematuring the segues. Mm-hmm. I, I think just that's like right you here. said at that tournament at like at people who really are at the peak of their performance, then the difference is a lot more minimized. From yes, yes, you can get headshots easier. You can uh, correct your aim. A little easier, but when the when the skill level is that high, the um, that like that that distance of how much how much additional ability that adds gets minimized pretty heavily. And then again, the team and the communication, so on and so forth, is a lot more important. But on the lower side, I think that people using mouse and keyboard against people who are average with a controller, like an average player like me. Yeah, well, they're they're going to absolutely destroy people and get shots off continuously that are like, whoa, this guy never misses. What the hell? How does this happen? Whereas most people who are who are really good at the game already using controller, they hardly miss their shots because they they already know how to correct their aim probably with a controller. Right. Like it so gives you a lot of benefits, it. right? Is there's the benefit of, you know, obviously the aim assist plus mouse keyboard, close aim. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Watts. It's okay. I was just going to ask if you were going to do trials carries now, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> there's but there's also there's a couple other advantages is that I now play on a 10 sensitivity. Right. Whereas I could mm-hmm. never play on that That's on a true. controller. Okay. Like, there's just no way. I was a 4, maybe a 5 if I was getting frisky with shotguns. Right. And it's a, so l- I could spin a lot easier so much to faster. shotgun turn That's with true. 10 sensitivity as well. Yeah. 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 And my my strafing is digital, not analog. Okay. So when I hit when I hit the A key and then I hit the D key. Oh, you're not immediate. you're not going like this. It, you're I'm just going like this moving. essentially. I'm going mm. on off on yeah. off on off instead of back and forth. That's it. You're cheating, Briar. Unbelievable. Go wash your hands. <laughs> I'm not gonna wash stop. your mouth out. Is <laughs> it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my it, God. It, it, the other thing too, also, is that. If the game was on dedicated servers and had 60 FPS or higher and better ping rates and so on and so forth, then I think it would be also something to consider. Be like, well, you know, when you're shaving it down to little milliseconds of possibilities, then, yeah, it matters. Just like with Overwatch, they they took away um, aim assist because of the ability to to do the to spoof with the keyboard. And that's because they had like the net code set up for that stuff. And Destiny doesn't have that. And I know that they're going to add yeah, ranked. That's a good one. I know they're going to add that in uh, ranked, or uh, they're, they're, um, sorry, they're not going to add netcode and so on and so forth. They're going to add ranked in May, which is concerning considering what exists currently for the platform. And in those situations, yeah, I think the I think the mouse and keyboard is definitely going to have a leg up. But when you could when you factor everything together, 30 FPS, awful netcode, pings that can go up to like 400, 500 milliseconds. Then it's like, okay, you're on a mouse and keyboard. You you might have a better match this time. You know, similar skilled players, you might not so later on. I got to tell you too, Tefty. Did you hear that, Pope? I yeah, don't know. I, I don't think it. you hear my bell. I, I, I heard the bell. Closer to the microphone? I don't know. I, I, heard I, heard I, I, I didn't hear it, but now I heard it. Is it because okay. I kissed <laughs> I got to tell you too, I Tefty. Kiss okay, I, went back, I went back in the recording. I heard it. <laughs> Is that having played now consistently on the PC, 
I am shocked by how bad the connections are on the PS4. Yeah. Like, I'm shocked by it. Like, I don't know if it's as easy to explain as, okay, more PC players have a hardwired connection and more PS4 players have Wi-Fi. But you would think that with and the player base is what? 10, 15, 100 times bigger? I don't know how, how big is it it's compared to... It's much bigger. It's huge. Much bigger. You would think that I'd be getting better connections on PlayStation because the matchmaking should be functioning better. Mm-hmm. On PC, I'm often seeing people with play- Asian characters in their names. And I assume that they're from a different continent, mm-hmm. right? I don't see that on PlayStation. That's but the the probably I I don't even know what racist is anymore. <laughs> uh, like Asian characters are racist. I'd be seeing. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> no, they're not. Writing? Mandarin is not racist. I'm sorry. Sure it is. <laughs> when it's said by Briar, it's racist. Oh, oh, um, you know, I would assume that since like I'm getting there's a bigger player base that the matchmaking would be better, but that's not my experience at all. Like, I mean, I'm seeing way more people teleporting around the map. I'm seeing way more yeah. like anomalies on PlayStation Four in mm. PvP than I'm seeing on con- on PC. Just tons of taking. What I'm trying to say is, please just buy a PC and play Destiny with me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't it, cheat. I promise. <laughs> Pope, you said <laughs> uh, earlier this week. Pope, you you said something um, by. This week, I mean, five days ago. So that was probably last week. Um, yeah. It was on March 10th on Twitter. Uh, you had a tweet that I actually kind of want to talk about a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm, br- oh. I'm bringing up our own. I'm bringing up our own podcast members' tweets as pod oh. as topic mm. discussions because I wow. when I read it, I was like, no, I don't. Look, I just, if I, I if, disagree if, with this, but I want to talk about it on the podcast. There is there is there is examples of people in office right now. Tweets don't mean anything. I'll just yeah. retract. I want to know afterwards. what this tweet is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, on March 10th, uh, Pope Bear on Twitter put out the tweet. I am a huge fan of watching competitive destiny being played at the highest levels. If we build a playlist that makes that possible, I think those players will return. There's nothing like seeing the game you play uh, being taken to that level. We need this in destiny too. Mm-hmm. I kind of, I kind of wanted to talk about that. Just, just for talk a, about it. Tell me, just, challenge just me, because you're wrong. Well, I don't think they will. Birthday return. boy's right. <laughs> oh. Well, so, so here's, I'm going to take the hard line. Like, it's, it's his All right, birthday, Patty. Well, I know. I'm sorry. That's fine. So here's, yeah, he here's, here's, this, here's my drunk. point. Here's my point to that mm-hmm. statement. Okay. There is a lot of really okay. So look. Don't take this the wrong way because it's it's not meant to be that way. It's just setting an example. Okay. So we've got Lumi, Sir Demetrius, Anbu, um, Frost, you know, all those guys, right? And Kutch, all those names that we knew from competitive Destiny. Mike tweet isn't necessarily about them in particular coming back, but more their the the top players the, the, there is a lot of really talented PVP players that are willing and wanting to slip into their what the role that they played all i'm saying is that if we provide the tools for top competitive players to compete that mm-hmm. personality type that that person that wants to perfect that skill and get really good with it. It may not be Lumi. It may not be Sir Demetrius. It may not be them who we are watching, but it will be somebody else at that is currently playing Destiny that is grinding their ass off and getting better at the game and has aspirations of being the best at the Cammy game that Cakes they play. And Drewski, I was watching them play Trials this weekend. It was a very high level play. It's very and so. So, so my my comment is more not necessarily about those that have left. Okay, but at okay. but but at the 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 competitive people will come back and want to be the best. See, they it's ingrained in their mentality to to compete. So this whole thing of like everybody gets a trophy kind of stuff doesn't. They're the kind of people that don't like that stuff. I want to be better. I want to have something that distinguishes me that better that I'm better. Is it a rank? Is it a number? It doesn't have to be a lot. But if we provide that playlist. Now, I'm not saying do that to all of PvP, but let's be honest with the community here. And there is a, without a whole lot of effort, 
I feel like they could tweak the competitive playlist, actually make it competitive, and create an environment in one little playlist. I'm not saying do all of that to PvP in Destiny, but take one playlist and make it super competitive and make it in a, you know, where people want to be good at that and 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 the 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 rule sets and the the stuff all screams skill gap, right? And if we get the if we get the um if we get the sandbox that I'm hoping we get plus they build the infrastructure for a competitive playlist that actually matters then we're going to see an influx of players back into it where we see competitive teams start to form again. Okay. But unless those two things happen, you can create a sandbox that's great, but if there's no way of showcasing what you're able to do, then they're not going to come back. Mm -hmm. okay. that, that What I wanted clarification on, if anything, was the I think those players will return line, and I do agree with you that I don't think the players that have left will that might be coming so back. Sad. But the players that... Uh, you know, I think some will. There. Some I think will. some will. So, some, I, yeah. I think so, some will come back nope. to try. But. They'll come back and try it out, and let's. But let's hope Bungie knocks it out of the damn park. Yeah, it, so yeah. Where you get in, then you're like, this is D1 fun again. Yeah, that's it, it, that's it a big thing, right? Like, it, we, like moving on, we got to assume that's going to happen, which is a lot to assume, right. right? But assuming that does happen, there's not a whole lot of arena shooters out there. That are really attractive to me. Mm -hmm. And oh, that's why not. I keep playing Destiny 2. Because I do like the arena shooter. I like playing yeah. the I like playing PUBG. I like playing Fortnite. I like playing, you know, Hunt. I like playing all these, you know, games that are, you know, these big open world battle royale type games. But they don't offer the adrenaline in the second to second, like you know, hypertension of an arena shooter where you're always five seconds away from a gunfight mm -hmm. right yeah and that well, kind of thing is still appealing it, it's to also people. with the bungee flare as well because even though destiny is sure. in its current state it still does feel like a bungee game and that is one of those things that is very hard to quantify but also is very it immediately hits you when you play other games you have the, the gun mechanics and the way the uh, the sandbox feels and so on and so forth even though this is a very bleak version of it in terms of weapon variety it still is one of the it's still a fantastic sandbox to play in because that the, the guns feel good. And when you play other games, you notice that immediately. It's very it's very hard to find a destiny replacement because there honestly isn't anything right now. And that and that and that and that goes exactly to my point. Like there's a couple things that they could do, they should do, in my opinion. In my opinion, obviously. And and I'm not trying to tell people that they shouldn't be doing like all this other stuff. Whatever your horse is you know, whatever your horse is hitched to, whatever your thing is in Destiny, I'm not I'm not talking about that right now. I'm just talking about these hyper competitive people. And if it, if you look back to what made Halo successful and you make other competitive shooters successful, is there A is a skill gap where good players can beat players that are not good. There's a way of showing off that you're better than somebody else, a ranked system. Or I've just got a zoom. <laughs> oh my goodness my point is that i i got nostalgic i'm sitting here watching twitch and i was watching call of duty they was on and overwatch was on and i was watching these competitive games and i got excited for them but not in the way that i got i i i used to get excited because that's not the game i'm vested in mm -hmm. right uh -huh. so i wanted i got nostalgic and i said you know what just give them a corner of the map you know we've got the pvp private matches split up pvp do away with the concept just give me one second to get this out mm -hmm. do away the social and competitive playlist things i just just that's just hot garbage i mean i really do not like that they put these two playlists up and then and then you know we've harped on this give you know Break them out. Okay, have the competitive playlist or whatever where it has this rule set for hyper competitive people and then rank system and all that. But then with the the the, the social playlist, you know, give me a um, control, give me a rumble, give me a duos. Break them out for God's sakes and make nowhere near skill based matchmaking. Make it completely connection based, and you can go in there and find a game if you want it. Yo, let 
let singles queue against other singles too, because it fucking sucks. Yeah. So solo queuing and coming up against teams, man, it just sucks. It's a bad experience. Please. So I well, I agree right, with you, Pope. That's, that's I, I I agree that they need the, all those things that you say. I completely agree with. The thing that I don't agree with is that that's necessarily going to create that corner for hardcore players to want to like hone their craft and so on and so forth. Craft well, for some. Well, it the game. Jeff, they don't do this because they, 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 those the, you know the, the the competitive people like they eat, sleep, and breathe like. You know, they no, don't give a shit about actually, the rewards I, I didn't of the mean game that. and all that. I didn't mean like that. Okay. I meant skills. Okay, okay. I, like, which is the same. I, I, it was the wrong thing to do, quotations. Okay. I meant it, I meant it in right. a way of like honing skills versus honing a craft, which you're okay, creating okay, something okay. versus Sorry. getting. I just making me think a real crafty. <laughs> I miss you, baby. Come back. Exactly. Yeah. Anyways, that's, it's semantics. It was semantics. The, the, the point, what I'm saying is that the, the game itself in the state is in it's in a, it's in a place that is going to take a lot more than just those playlists and the sandbox to rebuild those things to come back it needs it needs like it needs all the elements for it it needs the end game it needs the people to be inspired to play for those rewards right. a game like there, there's a lot of different things in there and while i say yes people need a spot to hone their skills to go in right. and get better at it i don't mm-hmm. think that's going to make uh, I, I don't think it's going to like plug the holes in the bottoming player base from it if, with that stuff. No, in there. And, and, and I think there are too many people are piling into this conversation, things that are not intended for this conversation. Well, wait a minute. I mean, it's, it's totally fair to say that, you know what? Destiny has lost a lot of players to Fortnite that aren't coming back. That's a fair statement, right? Okay. That's a true mm-hmm. statement. And I can say that apples are delicious and so are bananas, but they're still apples and bananas. They're not the same thing. They're fruit. I mean, you're throwing a lot of words at me, and I'm not real sure what you mean by them. <laughs> what I'll you said uh, didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. What I'm saying is that Destiny 2 exists in a different space than Destiny 1 did. Yes. Yes. For PvP-focused players, there's a lot more competition than there was in Destiny 1. When Destiny 1 released, we had a bad Call of Duty. We had a bad Battlefield. The call it the the competitive arena for shooters was shitty, and Destiny came in. The one was with a so really fun. cool idea, yeah, yeah, with a really cool idea and really fun gunplay, and just mopped up. That environment has completely fucking changed. That's and right. a lot exactly. of those players who may have switched from a different game like Call of Duty or Battlefield to Destiny, and you know had a lot of fun in Destiny for three years. Yeah, they're just not coming back because. You know what? They had fun in Destiny for three years. Destiny 2 wasn't to their liking. Fortnite is. PUBG is. Battlefield 1 is. Battlefield 2018 is. You know, like there's just, it's a different it, environment that it, it, Destiny yeah. 2 And honestly, in. Briar, the, I think the biggest one really is Fortnite right now because it's on all the consoles and it's on PC and it's very exciting mm-hmm. to watch Mobile. on Twitch. Mobile today. I'm hooking it's, on my Zim, yep. my Zim to my iPad Pro right now. 120 there hertz. There you go. 120 <laughs> hertz. Exactly. Fortnite, come at me, bro. Also, I, with I, how I, insane <laughs> Fortnite's getting, there's no real reason for people to abandon it. If you're in exactly. Fortnite and you're like really good at Fortnite and you're growing with Fortnite, so there's no reason. So so speaking I'm gonna, I'm gonna of so speaking of Fortnite and being really good at it, and awesome not, segue. Uh, God damn. Once it. again, I, I don't think we're done with this conversation. I do want to talk about Fortnite. I do want to talk about Ninja and Drake playing <laughs> last night because I think it's huge news. Yes. But I, I think this conversation is worth having. Yeah. Okay. Right. So the, the 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 last bit of this is. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. You don't need to whisper it to us. It's a little unsettling. Don't need to tell us. Yeah. <laughs> Just go. Oh. Huh. Mm. Wait. Every time Pat leaves. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> I guess the. <laughs> Because that does problem, actually happen quite the, a bit. The, the, so, so here's 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 the challenge that I'm going to push back on. Yes, there is all these other games that are out there that are that are doing well right now, and the landscape has changed. But I'm going to tell you that Destiny gets their shit together and starts making a sandbox that's fun to play in. the The stuff that we're all talking about, the feel of the game, the gunplay, all that. There is a, a huge player base that's going to come out 
and within that, a competitive group of people will form that will rival that of D1. There's a competitive group of people right now. There's tournaments right, running. Right, that's what I'm saying. Right once, now. This, once this gets into motion, that's what are I'm you, saying. What, you can't. What, what are you saying? He, Bo? Are you saying that Destiny Two is ever going to be as big as Destiny One? Because I disagree. I don't think no, it's ever. I I I, I think it has. I think it could be bigger. I think you're crazy. I think well, there's no way. I think the Taken Queen fine. could be amazing. The birthday bros are going out. No it, way. Guys. No way scary. it happens. No way it happens. All right, Briar. I'm going to bet you something. Okay. I'm going to bet oh, you that by the tamales. time D2 is done, mm-hmm. the player base will be larger than the highest point of D1. All right. First of all, how do we judge that? We have is it numbers. Going to live over time, or is it? We'll get uh, into the uh, details uh, later. Let's just let's just no, no, throw no. wild accusations your, right now. We'll get into your, the details <laughs> later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make bets that I don't think I can win. <laughs> all I'm saying is that I'm hopeful that that by the time the third expansion comes out, we're only at the second expansion. We've got there, the, and and they've turned this shit around, the mm-hmm. ship around. Um, that it will attract players back, and that it will be a competitive. You're speaking in such broad terms right now, it will attract players back. Yeah, I think it will attract players. It back. will be larger than D one. What am I trying? Yeah, what are you trying to say? It will be larger than D one. No, okay. I'm sorry, it won't. All it right, won't. well then that's our. So there's our bet. How much are you? Buying? How was that judged? What's the what's the money By count? Numbers. numbers. What's the numbers money count? Players. Also, wasn't it already <laughs> larger than D one at launch? Yes, it is. I already point. won the point. I already won the bet. Thanks, Tefty. Yeah, it was already <laughs> larger than D one or at launch, so it doesn't matter. That's my point: is that if you're mas- you're basing it off of a, a, of of beliefs of a system, it's like the grass was greener there. There, you know, you're 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 romanticizing a time when you know D D two is going to have more people playing it than the than D one. That's just it. Well, so right are now. you talking numbers <laughs> and it's not right now, <laughs> but are you talking about numbers or success? I am talking about the future, not the past. Okay. The future is going to have more people playing it than now. I disagree. I would love to be wrong on this. That's the thing is like, sometimes you believe something and you want to be wrong about it. Cause I, I go and I play destiny Two and I have a good time. Like I have fun. I don't play any PVE cause I've gotten every item that I could possibly get in this looter. But when I go in and I I play, I have a good time. Good. But good. I don't good I don't ever see it being as big. He's good I don't time I ever see it being as big as Destiny One was. Like it's okay. just it exists in a different place. All right. Well, when you're wrong, I want you to get a um, right across your face, right here on during the podcast. Shame. Um, Pope Bear's playground. <laughs> right here. Pope Bear's playground. <laughs> oh, that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm willing to have uh, a conversation. Sure. Like, I'm not. You know, sure, I was kidding. I really making, don't want you to do that. You're making jokes and you're you're using like Destiny 2 launch numbers, which aren't really relevant to where the place we are now. Because yeah, Bungie is amazing. They're best in the business. They're going to turn it around. That making hype, you know, and they're gonna there's going to be unbelievable hype going into DLC 2, and that's going to be half as much <laughs> hype as going into the Taken Queen. Sure, but then the game's so- got to actually come out and be good. And right. that's and then the that's bungee I'm not and, confident in anymore. And, and that's where I'm doubling down. Damn. I'm saying that I'm confident in the fact that they're going to turn this shit around. And if they if they don't, you have to pierce your nose and put a big old <laughs> bull ring. Like that, because I no like, Pope. They, Pope is wrong. I want to be wrong. Like I want to <laughs> be wrong. Like, yeah. I love playing Destiny. I want the Destiny PC community to come alive because. Man, 30 frames per second sucks. What is this? Fucking 1992? Come on. You don't want to keep. You don't keep, you don't keep <laughs> but Briar, you get to dominate on all these console dudes. Yeah, you get to use your Zim on PS4 now. You can be a god. Briar, I'm just. You I'm can just, be part guys, of the competitive game. Destiny turn this run stuff at 240 hertz. I feel like Tefty is the only person who can understand me here. I have been preaching this from the beginning. I understand it, but oh, no. as someone who pretty much only PvPs, I don't want to go on PC. Is me like rubbing my eyes like this a thing for them to drink? I don't, I don't know. know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. By the way, speaking of um, <laughs> segues, how about that uh, Fortnite thing with Drake? Amazing. 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 Glad it finally worked. 
<laughs> Debatable if that worked, but you know, yeah. I was like, I was able to watch it all. Third Luckily, I was awake nice. when it happened. Yeah, I, I woke well, up I mean, at uh, three a.m. because I make horrible life decisions and um, decided that that was the perfect time for me to wake up. Anyway, uh, three a.m. I woke up, started scrolling through the Twitter timeline because you know that's what I do when I wake up, and uh, yeah, I was like, huh, scrolling down. Oh wow, wow, well, it's like Ninja and. Uh, Drake started playing together. And huh. Kim.com. And Kim.com. Huh. And, and uh, another guy that is like a professional uh, sportster of some sort. F- football sportster. <laughs> <laughs> Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> there we go. You guys are horrible. Yo, when the least when the least famous person of a Fortnite group is the Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver. Nice job, Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did all right. <laughs> Travis Scott was funny. They they had Travis Scott in there. They had uh, um, um, obviously Drake um, Smith Shuster, Juju Smith. They had Juju and Juju. Yeah, Ju- yeah. Ju- Juju Smith Shuster. Okay. Who also likes Dragon Ball? He's pretty cool. Okay, there, all, there it, it we w- go. So it was an awesome team that they built, and apparently it was everything that you would hope that it would have been. And uh, in addition to it just being a great thing to watch. Uh, a lot of people thought that because it broke all, all all sorts of the Twitch records, and I think it capped out at like what seven hundred and twenty eight thousand. Seven twenty eight. Wow. Six hundred. Number I heard was six forty. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, six hundred. I don't know why it's at seven. I'm gonna blame that on the alcohol. Um, but <laughs> we'll go fair, with six. Six hundred. Six hundred twenty. Over six hundred thousand. Yes. Yeah. Which is insane. And insane. right now we're we're in a climate of. There are some people in politics blaming video games for violence. Yeah. And this happening, bridging, you know, music and gaming and sports and bringing it all together on Twitch, it, I think is amazing. It couldn't have happened at a better time yeah. because, you know, it's bridging everything. There's people who watch sports who are like, oh, games, <laughs> people who listen to music, I'm sure, are the same way. They brought all of that together and, and had something really awesome happen. It's good for games. It's good for Twitch. It, it was amazing. Yeah, it, it really is. It's like good in every way, right? Well, mm-hmm. it, it was funny. There was a there was a, some dude who worked, works for a newspaper. He, he writes for like about I the Raiders. Oh, I saw that tweet. I saw, oh, that, I saw that, tweet. that tweet. That was amazing. It was like I don't know if I've ever seen the internet gang up on somebody collectively like I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna find. Please that read tweet. the tweet. It was. Yeah, he's like he's like you're. What what is this irrelevant media? From the newspaper, dude. <laughs> From the newspaper. Dude. When I was going, when I was going to school, I was thinking about going into journalism. And you know what my professors, my fucking professors, were saying? Choose Print journalism is a dying thing. Don't fucking get this degree. <laughs> That's what my fucking professors were telling me. The, I, I am, I'm basically keeping them employed. They're telling me, don't do this. Excuse me. Anyway, um, do you have that tweet, Patrick? I, I, I found, I found the person that. Uh, uh, I, I, anyway. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give his name. Okay. But anyway, the tweet That's was: fair. if you care about some random self-named person posting an obscure stream <laughs> uh, on a platform most don't use, okay, uh, like fourth most, uh, fourth most uh, uh, site for traffic in the world, mm-hmm. okay, all right, dude, uh, stream on a platform most don't use and setting streaming records for doing absolutely nothing of substance. Uh, all right, sure, dude. It may be time to re-examine priorities. Mm. Nothing of substance like bringing bringing the world together in a time where it's desperately needed when video game players are under attack by our own government. Mm-hmm. By the way, he deleted that tweet. Nothing of substance. Nothing of substance. Nothing substance. Right. It's, not, it, it, it's gone. You can't find it anymore. You, Did only, you guys only read screenshots the replies? Exist. The replies were the replies like, were oh, they made me feel better about being a human being. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was great to see mainstream artists giving legitimacy to something that we feel like uh, we're, we're uh, you know, at a time when gamers feel like they're being attacked. Mm-hmm. Did you yeah. guys watch any of the stream? Oh, yeah. I watched, watched all it all of it. Available on VODs. Yep, uh, I watched all of it. I yep. think besides just the numbers of it and the who is and, you know, the, the who was involved in it was also the camaraderie and... <laughs> Like the the people coming together from like different areas of the universe, right? It's like you know this guy is Kim fucking dot com. This guy is you know the guy who does that silly dance in that video. This guy <laughs> is you know 
probably mainlining Adderall. I don't know. They all came together and had like they were like, here's here's your slurp, here's here's a here, you know here's a weapon. Like let's make sure we get Brent, through this you, together. Your band aids, my god. Mm-hmm. You know you can talk all you want about murder simulators, but when it comes together, when it comes down to it, you got four people working together. You know, building team building skills. And like moving forward as a group and becoming friends, it's a, it's a it's an amazing thing to watch. It's actually a great stream to watch. Uh, I got I got a lot of respect for everybody who's in that stream, especially Ninja. You know, and I also want to point out that I have a a, a huge shout out to literally everybody who was behind the scenes making that happen because mm-hmm. there was Hassan was there and um, I didn't know, see Hassan. Was he in the fire team? No. He was. Huh? You 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 think those four people in that fire team were the only people making that happen? No, I'm just trying to bust his yeah. son's balls. So <laughs> Hassan was Hassan. Uh, there was a there was a guy from Epic at Drake's house. There was a guy from Twitch. You know, like they they uh, uh, from uh, um, anyway. So there there was a bunch of different people that were, you know, supporting these guys to get them together. And I think it made it made a great statement. It really did. Yeah, yeah. It and was an um, thing. it's awesome. You know, I really, you know, I, I, I knew it wasn't a, it may have been a publicity stunt and whatever, but I know it, Drake played Fortnite by the way he was playing and talking and that yeah, he was a fan he was of Ninja he knew, he knew about Fortnite. and he knew yeah. about the game. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes there's people that like, they, they, they're, they're not really even playing, you know, yeah, you like could, you look at the Battlefield one stream with Snoop Dogg and yes. he's like, not where playing. Guys, he like picks up his hand. Yeah, literally not playing. <laughs> like, yeah, a joint. He like he's smokes like, a joint yeah, while the guy's yeah. moving and shooting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Best streamer ever. <laughs> 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 I think what's amazing so is was, how much cool. exposure this gives for the Twitch platform is just incredible. Right. Like it, it, it's huge. Yeah, it, us, it boosts it boosts the whole platform. And it, just like you guys said about how at a time when the uh, being a gamer is, from the government's point of view is like or point of view point of view is um I'm not even drinking alcohol. I sound drunk. Crazy. What the hell? It's FT. Yeah. Beer ain't gluten free. Um, is there such thing as a contact high with? <laughs> I guess so. That's what's happening. <laughs> I'm just rub this on the webcam a little bit. There you go. Uh, yeah. With the that yeah, with so us good, point of pew. Mm-hmm. Pew, pew with gamers <laughs> being looked at from government officials as like a target because or an scapegoat for other topics and so on and so forth. It's an amazing time to see that come together from like pop culture. Every world. Yeah. Well, not every world, but a lot of different worlds. Yeah, pop culture, oh, mainstream first, yeah, media a, coming a, a, over a into record. into what Twitch is and mm-hmm. and showing it because it, Twitch is still one of these things where even though it has a huge amount of traffic on online, if you go to a grocery store, everybody knows what YouTube is in the grocery store. But if you ask mm-hmm. them what Twitch is, you're going to get a lot of people yeah. who have no idea what Twitch is or Very even the true. concept. And that this is one of these things that it brings it one step closer to those people being like, oh yeah, Twitch streams. Where a lot of people get their entertainment from. Right. So I can just say Twitch and they're like, oh yeah. Instead of what's that? Oh, it's this thing where I said Cam Girl? No. Different. Imagine YouTube, but it's like live and there's <laughs> there's chat. The people talk. Have I, you I ever wanted to be a radio DJ and also play the music and talk to everyone at the same time and also have to field phone calls that are coming? How long in. do you think we're gonna be able to play uh music? Oh, that's dude. gotta be ending soon. Uh, oh, dude, <laughs> like that's gotta be. Well, be I love we just doing have it to all, all day become today. Friends with Drake and all the big guys, and give <laughs> right. them give us permission to use their music, and then it's, it's got so you email Vanilla Ice. It's his label. I didn't, I didn't see and publisher. Back. <laughs> if you need country music, I got all the connections no, from back good. home in Nashville. Okay, <laughs> uh, you know, it, technically, really, technically, it's it? against us. We're not supposed to do it. Right now, yeah, not, no. and our VODs get muted if it's loud enough. Right now, so mm-hmm. the thing that happens is if if somebody catches wind, like like on a ninja stream. I mean, if you have six hundred thousand people watching, then and if they catch wind of copyrighted music, you're absolutely right. The the owners of that copyright are going to be like, uh, was there a license secured for this? Were did you guys you know oh, was yeah. there paperwork yeah, for this? Yeah. To, how do you know about this? Or what are you like some sort of music producer nope, or something? Not at all. Okay. Humbly, sir, from my heart, <laughs> I swear to you, I work for Clear Vision Entertainment. <laughs> you give him a call; I'll be waiting outside. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's you know what's gonna happen. Amazon's gonna do Amazon Music, and then Twitch 
Twitch streamers are going to be able to use Amazon, Amazon Music. music. Oh. Why can't we do oh. that already? Amazing. Yes. The thing there is, the thing is, they have to. The they still have to construct all these deals, though. That. They would have that, to that are that. okay with licensing music that way, where the artists are yeah. getting paid depending on what's being streamed on there, and that that technology is still, yeah, you know, still out there. It's still difficult. Us, they would be awesome, like the old payola days from radio stations for advertising their music. I like I like the sound of this. So I have loose walls and very very empty Amazon. pockets. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could sign up <laughs> to have your artists have their music on Amazon Music, and then you understand that you're getting the free exposure on my stream. Oh, you want to be on a Tefty Tef stream? <laughs> I hear oh, Toto is you. also like it's starting to see a resurgence. Well, I I played a little Toto today. I had an all eighties stream. Oh hell yeah! Nice. Dude, they my did the soundtrack to Dune. You know that? No, I didn't David know Lynch's that. Lynch's Dune. Toto did the soundtrack, dude, man. You guys haven't watched that movie before. Have I you? only know that one song. Plains of Africa. Africa. Somebody's got it. Somebody's got it right over there. <laughs> yeah, the rain's in Africa and crap, right? Something like that. <laughs> it's, it's a great song. I love that song. It's a great song. <laughs> when are we getting together to do another uh, to doing a let's play, guys? Uh, this Saturday. Saturday. This Pope, Saturday. Are you drunk? Yes. You There's said I just fucking about this like for everyone. Like an hour ago. Oh my hey, god, I'm trying to set up a segue. Just relax. Chill. Bad How about we get together and answer some Twitter questions? I am Question fully mark? tilted. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get a chance to play um, together this Saturday. We'll have that out on the Patreon on Monday. No, and then next Monday. Hmm. Next Monday. Yeah. Next Monday. The following Monday. There we go. Yeah, not, not following? Yeah. A week later. I don't understand. Video what editing saying. takes honestly. A long time. Video editing yeah, takes a week. Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter when we record it. It's going out on twenty sixth. Well, it matters to me when we record it. No, it's good. for for our listeners. <laughs> right. It's going out on the twenty sixth. It. Let's not even talk about this because you guys. Are I'll, tur- I'll turn. I'll turn up listening. on Monday for the. Oh, are we doing a trivia game? Are we doing trivia? Yeah. We should do some trivia games. Oh trivia. my god, yeah. we're going to. But I don't. Can we have do the, drunk I don't trivia? Have the, that would I got really bad, busy eh? at work, Briar. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. Yeah. Fuck that trivia thing. Nobody likes fucking trivia anyway. I yeah. love trivia. We were gonna do a trivia game where each one you one person was the you know announcer person, and then you, we had teams of two and whatever. We'll save it till our next birthday. I'm not disappointed. <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> so there's another birthday out there, I guess. There's lots of those. I was. I, I just wanted to say we were, the goal was was to try and we had to. Me and Pope were gonna both pick a teammate, mm-hmm. and. Patty, I was all over you. I thought that me and you, Not man, consent. we were going to make... I understand that. I can understand that. We were going to make the best trivia team, though. Best trivia okay. team. Yeah, I'm down. Just give me a heads up about it first, you know? Maybe we'll do that in a, as, a, as an episode for, uh, uh, for the... Let's do that. That sounds great. Oh, for, for uh, DCP something else? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we still need to come up with a name, because right now I... I like to be something else. What's wrong with it? I don't DCP know if we ever else. need to come up with something else. DCP. I like something else. <laughs> I like something I else. Mean, <laughs> I like something else. We got two, asking two, out of five. two out of five. We need one more to make it a majority. Anyone else? Well, mm. we as don't. soon as we make it a majority, I'm changing my vote. We I don't operate, operate on a simple unnamed. majority. We <laughs> operate on a five out of six. <laughs> Pope tells us what's happening, and we say, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a we have a okay. really we're we're gonna be playing the only reason why I brought it up, guys, is to talk about golf it. Yeah, we're gonna be playing golf it. We're, we're gonna play play golf with it. Isn't that I we're playing golf with friends. Oh Jesus Christ, guys. You <laughs> cheese and rice. We're playing golf it. We're playing golf play it. the new is it Mario golf. It or golf? Or you guys it? see that new Mario golf that they showed uh, at the Nintendo Direct event? Oh, I didn't see it. I feel like no, we're Mario I feel tennis. like this Mario podcast tennis. has gone My off bad. the rails. Oh, tennis would be awesome. Briar oh, let's play tennis, question. dude. Yeah, we tennis was great. amazing. Can we oh have like if we have five of us, <laughs> one Briar person could be the umpire? Twitter questions. Please. I would be down with that. Uh, that would be a order. Big. Order. <laughs> okay, golf it is the more expensive one, and that's the one we were gonna play. I choose the cheaper one. <laughs> Custom maps. <laughs> it's a difference of three fucking dollars. You just spent a hundred bucks on a Zim. I already own uh, golf with friends. Well, does. 
the, God the, damn it. Okay, we'll play fucking golf with friends then. I already bought oh. golf it because okay, you told well, me to buy golf it. Watch How about half vote. of us play golf it, half of us play <laughs> golf with friends? <laughs> Watts, do you already own one? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Briar, you already <laughs> own golf with friends? I own golf with friends. And I own golf Watts. with friends. Okay. Mm. Watts, I'll give you a dollar to buy golf it. <laughs> I need two more dollars. I'll be me two dollars <laughs> to buy golf. <laughs> How much is golf it? It's eight, eight dollars. Is it eight dollars? Eight dollars. That's I could ridiculous. Put that on my taxes. I could put that on my expenses. guys. This is that's going to bring can, me down. You can put this on your bracket. taxes. It's going to be good. Hmm. Mm. All right. All Let's right. Not talk about taxes. I guess I'll Way buy golf it. Enjoy. Way to twist my arm. Can we wait until there's like a St. Patrick's Day sale or some something like that? So it's like two bucks. Okay. Everything gets more. Defty, I'm gonna buy it for you <laughs> and then give you the code. Okay, it's gonna be okay. No, no, no. It's the principle. Five copies of this. It's the no, no. It's the it's the principle of getting it on sale. Yeah, I don't. I could buy it right now. It's not the point. But when you see it, it on will. sale, you when it when it's like minus thirty three percent, eighty percent. When you see eighty percent, thirty nine cents off. I can't afford to not buy this. <laughs> <laughs> 800 when, hours of gameplay <laughs> when you're browsing steam and they got some epic sale you know it's the spring <laughs> allergy sale and 80 percent off a of golf it good lord what a high it's a rush what yeah there you go that's basically like 90 percent of my steam library has come from exactly same that <laughs> i have like 400 titles mm. I don't All have right. that many, but that's that's impressive. You guys want to do Twitter questions? I feel like uh, Pope's gonna like reach through Skype and strangle me if I don't start him. We'll do Thank it. JB Bega says, <laughs> "There's always questions on what does Bungie need to do to fix Destiny 2, but it, what is one of the new things they've either added or came at launch that you are really happy to see?" Thanks, guys. Hmm. A story. What's a mm. good one? Going through, like, the first section of Destiny 2 when you played and you were going through the story and you were just leveling up, that was awesome. I had a really good time at that point of Destiny 2. I yeah. feel like they nailed that. And then after that, it was like, <laughs> But uh, I think they nailed that section. That or Mantling. Mantling is the life changer. Jesus. Mantling Vaulting. was huge. <laughs> Mantling, yeah. 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 Oh, my gosh. Uh, public events are, like, way better. Than what Destiny One was, even though we played the crap out of those public events. When you first played some of those yes, public sure. events, it was like, damn, they were fun. They upgraded these public events. It's awesome. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <clears throat> Something. Well, you guys took two really good ones there. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. No. Um... Oh, it's when Briar interrupts people. Is that one of the drinking things? Is that it? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, geez. when someone doesn't understand something, <laughs> when confusion right, is in the, the air, I'm just hitting the bell. I, I think he's just <laughs> fucking with us. I think that's the entire point of the bell is that there is nothing. They're just gonna <laughs> ring it whenever the fuck they feel like. Anyway, uh, I think the thing that I uh, thing that I really liked was uh, honestly oh. the nightfall scoring with the patch. I know it's like. Oh, but that was in D one. True, oh, it's better. It, it's it's really good this time around. I agree with you. I like the um, mechanics of. I like the adjustments that they made to the already known supers, like the way that the animations and not the sandbox part of it that that was ass, but the the actual like adjustments of the way that you you know you looked when you popped your arc blade or um you know just the the the, the titan looks really cool like you know the 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 electricity coming off of them and the effects of that the mm. the, the, the flare mm -hmm. i'm gonna go with uh unlimited frames per second on my pc because <laughs> it's fucking marvelous That's a good one it plays phenomenally it looks gorgeous i understand like Oh, uh, it's capped at 200. No, it isn't. Go to the CVAR file. You can type in any fucking number you want. True. Any number. True. You can, you can put 999. Mm -hmm. 
If you have, you know what else yeah. was a really good feature is not getting kicked out of your menu constantly. Oh, that's solid. Oh, that is a nice one. That's a that good is one. a nice one. In fact, sometimes mm-hmm. I start a crucible match and I get shot. I'm like, oh shit, I was still playing my menu. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing like when I go into Monster Hunter or I was playing uh, some other games this weekend and. Like during loading screens, I'm like, I want to do something, and like I'll hit escape, and it's like this doesn't do anything. I want to see my menu. I want to dick around in my menu. I want to at least see my character. I something. Dick around. Just, I'm always doing that. Hey, and the yeah. uh, upcoming patch are going to make that quicker, so you don't have to spend too much time in that. Even more dicking around. You, well, less all, time to dick around. I all like dick dicking all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Your dickening time shall get reduced with the mm-hmm. next oh, patch wait. in Monster oh, Hunter. Okay. Yeah. I like dicking quicker, but I don't like my dickening time to go down. <laughs> yes. So it's it's really a wording thing that yeah. I think is really fine. <laughs> yep. Should we do the next question? Sure. Mr. Goodbite says, happy birthday. And uh, it was a fight to the death with people. I'm sorry. I, I, I lost. Oh, what are your best <laughs> birthday memories? What's your legit. best birthday memory? Yeah, legit. legit. Can I? I need to kind of just tell this story. Is it, it a it, good birthday memory? No, no it's not. Guys. Well, no, it said you can't best. Because the question is literally, what are your but best it's funny. birthday memories? But it's funny. I'll be the judge of that. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you guys remember Power Rangers? Yes. Yeah. Of course. The, the absolute mania that was Power Rangers. Obvious. So, uh, I wanted to have a Power Rangers birthday party. And I told everyone at my school about it. This is this was preschool. So I assume I told everyone, but I probably only told like one or two people. Anyway, I thought there were going to be like at least 10 people you told showing the teacher up. teacher and the guy standing next to you at the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> you assumed I could use a urinal in preschool, Briar? No. I vividly remember peeing my pants because I couldn't figure out how to unbutton my jeans, which caused a lifelong fear of wearing pants. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> birthday power rangers fear, um fear of pants <laughs> i really wanted to have a power rangers birthday party so we got like the we got the napkins that were like power rangers power Ranger themed. we got the plates that had power rangers uh no cake or anything like that but we got the napkins and the plates that was it's pretty exciting that, pretty that, that, that was that was the real yeah. the real mm-hmm. stuff there anyway so it comes time for the birthday party my dad wasn't home because he was always traveling for for business um, so my dad wasn't there for my birthday this time. Um, and no, also no one showed up. Not even the white Power Ranger? <laughs> no, no Power Rangers showed up. <laughs> Zero Power Rangers. The green Power Ranger wasn't even canon at this point. It was just the original black, red, white, blue. Uh, that was but, amazing when they introduced the Green Power Ranger. That was awesome. Oh yeah, Green Power Ranger was f- fucking Power getting Ranger Tommy was in there. Yep. Oh yeah, that was yep. that was that was some good shit. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was just the the OG Power Rangers, the only ones that you know. Not even the pink uh, one. Did you? Yeah, actually yeah, pink, invite not people. even the pink one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know what you, know you, know you, know you should have party. purchased? You should have purchased Power Ranger invites and given them yeah, out to people. Oh, see, that's the thing is, I had been to a birthday party before oh. that had Power Rangers show up. And you know what they oh. did at that birthday party? It was just Some like, but, but people assume dressing up in Power Rangers. It wasn't the actual Power Rangers, but they were. But How they're, do you know? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to assume because they said, that, look, they said, we, we asked, hey, where are, the other, where are the other Power Rangers? They said, oh, they're all <laughs> fighting putties. And I, I took that as, oh, yeah, no, they're all fighting putties. Fine. You guys remember what putties were? Those were the, uh, anyway, um, those, those are the little henchmen that they would always kill. Um, yeah. And you know what those Power Rangers made us do at that birthday party? They made us fucking clean the, clean the yard. They oh. the Power Rangers. I just sounds like were, someone's parents. They yeah, were some dead other, Power I, Rangers. I, some other birthday party. <laughs> my parents dropped me off there, and then the Power Rangers were like, "Hey, you know what we want to do? A little raking, motherfucker." They fucking us rakes and all this stuff. And like, we started picking weeds out of the yard. At this birthday party, and then I assume the Power Rangers just went back in and started fucking downing drinks with all the parents. Oh my god! Okay, so I can see how this is your best birthday memory. Some other. This is somebody's best birthday memory. You should have seen it. I got all these little fuckers cleaning up my yard. (laughs) 
Great. You want to oh, oh, it's fall. dress up as the White Power Ranger. <laughs> Is it fall? It's fall and there's leaves everywhere. Get these little shits to clean it up. Just tell them the Power Rangers told them to do it. It was great. Yeah, amazing. for them. And amazing. I, I, I remember I remember like halfway through it going like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> but then, then all the other power, all the other kids were still doing it, and the Power Rangers were like talking with the parents, and then one of them looked at me and then gave it's me like, like a power thumbs up. Oh. No, he gave me like a thumbs up like this. I was like, oh shit, he, that, he that, that tittled you and made you want to keep keep. No, he saw him. you like losing. Yeah, you saw me losing faith in the Power yeah. Rangers. Yeah. Gotta, Gotta give, give a thumbs a up. Bump. Give me a little. Mm. Wow, the Power Ranger bump is nudge. strong. Yeah. Like I went back and I told my parents like what I did at this if birthday. You don't party. have an emote by Friday of a Power Ranger giving a thumbs up. <laughs> I'll be highly disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I went, I went back to uh, like when, when I when I when my parents picked me up, they were like. <laughs> So what did you do at the party? He's like, oh, I picked up leaves. <laughs> I picked up leaves. <laughs> Everything like, you did what? You did yeah, what? You this Power Rangers over yeah, here. The, <laughs> the Power Rangers showed up to this birthday party, and they made us pick up leaves. Huh. <laughs> and, and I want to have a birthday party. Yeah, where the Power how powerful the Power Rangers truly were. I want to have a birthday party where the Power Rangers show up, too. And my parents are like, yeah, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> No, can they yeah, paint the so, house? <laughs> no, the, there's there's a different thing where my, my our neighbors picked up the leaves in our yard because we didn't have any trees in our yard. So then all the leaves from like our neighbors' trees would fall in our yard, and they would all just pick up the leaves for us because they felt bad. So that was actually pretty cool. So I didn't have, because our neighbors were so charitable. I didn't even get the fucking Power Rangers to come to my own birthday party. I didn't even get because our neighbors to come to your picked party. up the leaves. There weren't even any guests. Mm. Watts has a strong point. What? You didn't even get the guests to. I, I know it's technically a part. It what wasn't. He had showed up. And it wasn't even like. <laughs> it was you. And With some, some napkins. Power Rangers napkins. <laughs> Look, it was me. <laughs> and plates. And plates. But then one other kid showed up, but he was going out of town, and he could only stop in for like five minutes. So he he dropped yeah, by. That's totally what I would say if I walked into a party <laughs> with nobody. There was no one there. <laughs> I know the parents on there's no one hey, else. Like hey, Patty, I'm so happy to see. You. I'm sorry I can't stay for long. Uh, you know, I guess I'll just take some cake though. Five minutes. Oh, wait, I, I got have a cake. like a thing in uh, I don't know Afghanistan or some shit. I gotta go. <laughs> a preschooler <laughs> had places to be. <laughs> A preschooler a had preschooler places. turned up. Oh boy, man! I don't know. I don't know, Pat. I can maybe stay for a napkin, but I got a. I got, I got a jet. I got a lawn. I got business. I got plans. a lawn. I got a rake from the Power Rangers here <laughs> next door. <laughs> I didn't even have cake in this. There wasn't. Did you have any food? Did you have any I, I remember plates and napkins. I don't remember any cake at this party. Uh, mm. I gotta. I gotta ask Watts a question here. Mm. Pope missed lived, a ton of shit while he was gone. <laughs> Patrick, you've lived in in the, the area you're living in for what six months, almost a year? Uh, uh, almost a year now, actually. Like I'm going on ten. You came 10 in months. like. Has there been or... lots? You live close by. Has there been any uh, Captain Patty parties? No. <laughs> we need a Captain Patty party. We can relive. <laughs> we can get Power Rangers, Pat. We can JP Seattle's your... coming up here in April. You know, CC Coon will be here. Bunch of a bunch of my subs will come be coming here, and and you know it's gonna be great. Magic the Gathering. It's gonna be over. lit. Yeah, it's gonna be lit as fuck. Lit as AF. I'm making gumbo. That's what all the kids are saying. Mm. Yeah, without the S. In 2016. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> Hands up, Dragon says the updates coming in March and May will be great for Destiny. But do you feel they need another trial slash POE, some new event activity that is different than anything we played for before? Yes. Currently, everything we have is just updated versions of Destiny One modes. Yep. Uh, yes. We need more. Yes. More. Yes. We need like, more. We need, like, new we need more of the new things. More chasing new things that are more. First of all, yes. handsome dragon, why are you so toxic? Second of all, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Prior, yeah. you see the questions in Skype. There are Patreon ones and stuff too. Yeah. No, I don't see it. You don't see what? it? Yes, I see them now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Johnny 
Fez. What are your own top three Bungie things Bungie needs to do to bring the player base back and make the community strive again? Love the show. Keep up the awesome work, guys and gal. I assume he's talking about Tefty. He is the wench. Remember. Never forget. <laughs> Never get wenched. Saw that, saw that three times today, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Um, three of the biggest things to make people come back to D2. Make it fun, you know? Yeah. Fun is good. Bring back space cool. magic. That's what we always come back to. Bring back the space magic. Because, you know, there was no, there was a lot of content droughts in D1. But people still played the crap would, out of D1. I would love for the next DLC. Not obviously. Well, I'm wishing, I'm hoping that D2, like the, the second DLC has um, another um, if not a subclass an alien race that we're fighting against something totally yeah. and if they could we... add some subclasses to us that would be fantastic yes or even like new nodes within current subclasses new would nodes. be great like Watch. adding adding to the stuff we, yeah I, I want new Watch. subclasses Watch. well we all want that Watch. do you think we're going to get new subclasses for Taken Queen oh for Taken Queen yeah I will say yes I'm going to yeah. say it I'm going to say yes really Mm-hmm. I really hope so. What I really, yes. really hope so. Because I believe that the the children are our future. Have, I also no, I don't really believe that. They're like sixty <laughs> percent idiots. I, future. <laughs> well, I do believe though that the the classes we have need a rework. Right? They're not as good as they were in Destiny One. It's true. Not as good. Not as much variety. Yeah. And we also need Battle Royale, because clearly all games need Battle Royale at this point. So if we can get a Battle Royale update in June. <laughs> I, guys, I, I, I know how to. No, no. I, I've thought of the game mode. I've, I've, okay. I've okay. done it. I've solved the battle. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Are you going to you got to remember it's pure versus Comment down, Patrick. Yeah. No, no, no. The, <laughs> okay. Pure. You guys, I've talked about the Guru Bashi Arena before. Bless you. <laughs> Okay, um, Patrick. <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun this is gonna be a fun thing to describe. Anyway, Gurbashirian. It was like a f- complete free for all. D- didn't matter who <laughs> you were, who you, you were fighting against in in the arena. It, if you were in the arena, you could kill other people unless you were in a group with each other. Anyway, um, yeah, th- that was a huge thing in WoW. I want that, and you you could watch what was going on in the arena. Anyway, <laughs> oh sorry, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> My God, um, I want that. We have somebody you can hold. Patrick's Cam Patty's hair. back. Cam Patty's back. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> okay, so think about the tower. You you zone in. There's probably some something off to the side that you oh, go to. Where's some the side room. It's like basically a fight club, but then you go down it and you can watch what's going on. That's part of the arena. You need to be able to watch what's going on, but not join join in because that's part of the fun. And okay, so I'm thinking like an arena that you can jump around in, and when you when you go <laughs> go in, you can get a you you get a relic in a in a. <laughs> oh my god, Pat! <laughs> it's on purpose. I swear. <laughs> When you go into this arena, you get a relic, like the Vault of Glass relic. And instead of like using um like guns, <laughs> it's it's third person. I have no idea what this mode is, Pat. Other. I have no idea. Yeah. I haven't been following this at all. And same. I don't it's know what's same. happening. Same. Also, I was completely <laughs> joking about Battle Royale. I'm not serious at all. It, the game does no, not I'm need us. I'm serious. Was, I thought that was shit. amazing. <laughs> Patrick, you've given us a ton to talk about and think about over the next week. Fantastic. I just want to use the Big gonna, red. I'm gonna go hold on, hold on. I want to give a serious I want to give a serious okay, response to the question because it was what does the what needs to be brought back? Mm-hmm. And in my opinion well, no, it doesn't say what needs to be I'm just sorry, back. what needs to be put into the game to make it to bring people back. That's what I, it was. Like a grub hub app. What it needs me- for a large portion of the player base to be excited to play it again is the chase for loot 
because yeah, that's the number one. That thing. is the number one thing, honestly, because the the reason why a lot of people kept playing D one was because they might have gotten an Ayaz Luna God roll at some point to drop for them during the stuff, and you could keep on playing strikes, and you might get a God roll Grasp of Malik, you might get an Imago Loop, all those things. Those were those were critical points for people to have a carrot on the stick to want to keep on playing, and those do not exist at all in D two right now. And you- Devi, you know what? Is that that's the thing they're not addressing in all of these updates that we've been seeing since February. Is that even with like these amazing changes that we know in like we know we're gonna love, they're still interspersed with those. We're making exotics easier to get. Right. You know. You know what? As like, well, what the fuck? midnight, midnight coup being exotic. purchasable. Do you remember Luke Smith saying we're get, we're working on a way? Well, we have a way where you're going to get your second, fifth. Eighth better devils, mm-hmm. and it's going to be exciting. He said that before D two came At out. The Dre event. I don't even think referencing what that is quote is relevant anymore because I don't think if he had an idea at that point, that idea never materialized. Yeah, you know what I'm saying is like whatever that bud of idea was in his head a year ago, it's gone. Well, they need to have something. It doesn't, you know, say it. Say they don't want to bring back random rolls. Okay, fine. But they need to have something to make your 8th, 10th, 12th better devils exciting. They need to work on something. I honestly don't think that, yeah. I don't think we're going to get random rolls back, which is sad. But I think well, we're going to see um, the mod 2.0 fill its shoes. So I hope, I really hope. They got to uh, knock it out the park with that. Yeah, th- I, exactly. I don't even they, know They, they got to knock out the park. And they also, this has to be something that shows up. Soon, if it doesn't show up by September, then mm-hmm. the PVE portion the September thing. is going to hit an all time, all time low beyond what already it's getting after the, the rush, because they have to put these things for pe- people to chase and make builds about build doing builds is one of the driving force for PVE. And if you don't have loot variety and things that that create these vault roles space. and the vault space to accommodate it then you don't have that player base that's interested in making uh in doing theory crafting beyond the PvP side. Mhm. Preach, my friend, preach. It's absolutely the truth. I'm the only thing that's keeping me playing Destiny right now is these cosmetic <laughs> armor pieces that I'm trying to put together to make my guardian like fashion show better. That's not a reason to play. Fashion Souls, baby. Now mm-hmm. in Destiny. All right. I got another good one here. Alex okay. D says, what is something that viewers should avoid that would make your experience as a streamer better? Or what's the most annoying thing that Don't viewers do? backseat game me. Just chill, dude. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. You don't even tell me what to do all the time. I, I love it. I love playing a game that I've never played before and then having someone come and go, why aren't you doing this? You know you can do this, right? And it's like, oh, my God. Okay, look. And it's even worse with story games or like puzzle games where someone will come in and be like, oh, yeah, you have to press this, this and this to do the puzzle. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I was being helpful. I was trying to. I saw you struggle with the puzzle and I wanted to be helpful. The puzzle is the is the puzzle is the game. And if you solve the puzzle, but I've already played the game. game. I've already played the game and I need to tell you. (laughs) <laughs> don't play the game yourself <laughs> don't play the game yourself um it, also don't like, keep bitching at me about that sneak being dead please yeah uh, please That's please, please. Not like I'm, I'm playing monster hunter because i'm enjoying monster hunter please don't please don't come in and go so yo uh oh yo that's the thing though patty mm-hmm. you're playing a different game and they still come and bitch about destiny yeah, it's great. It's definitely less. When you go to back to playing Destiny, oh my dear lord, the chat is just oh. it's just oh, Destiny's dead. Why are you playing this? What are you doing? Oh man. Like I, look, I'm okay with talking about Destiny and like it's it's right. cool. Like like you know, like we can have this conversation. Sometimes I get a little bit annoyed when somebody's like super like just harping on like the negative constantly. But when I've switched games, <laughs> I'm not thinking about Destiny anymore. I'm thinking about how do I kill these motherfuckers hiding in this bayou? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> how do we, how, 
you know, how do we change the exotic? I don't fucking know. I'm trying to hunt this fucker in a bayou. He's trying to kill me. People are sad. They're, 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 you know, they're upset and they, and they, and they, they, they come to your stream to, to, they're to not, they don't, they don't, they don't know they're the 15th, they're the 20th or the 100th person that's come in and done that. You're right, Pope. You're right. But a lot of them now that do it, they're doing it and trying to start an argument. They're yeah. not coming I mean, in and being th- th- those, like those. You can tell. You can tell pretty clearly who, who's who's actually like I. We had somebody in our Discord that joined as a patron and and w- went into the Discord chat. And the first thing he did when he got in there was just like unload about how Destiny, how fucked up Destiny is right now. Mm-hmm. And there's like this long pause. This is my all account of people <laughs> of, of of no of no responses, right? And then I, I, I jumped in there and I said, hey, you know what? I understand you. We all feel that way. and But we're here just to hang out and have fun. And let's keep the conversations talking about something positive. And, yep. um, and then he, you know, his, his response after that was just like, yeah, I'm really sorry. I, I just needed to get that off my chest, you know? And so I think there's some people that just... You know, and then unfortunately, streamers that they know for Destiny are the ones that they unload that on. And, you know, here's the thing is I truly believe this is that at some point we're going to come to a like a point in Destiny 2 where we've lost the people who are disappointed about Destiny 2. Yeah, and we're only like we're just talking to the people who enjoy playing Destiny 2. Mm-hmm. I hope it happens before like year three. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Do you remember? I already in... legitimately like playing Destiny two. I I too am disappointed with what Destiny two turned to be turned out to be. But there are things I like doing in Destiny two, like PvP with a Zim four or I'm sorry Zim Apex and mouse and keyboard on a PlayStation four. Nice. Thanks. I'm glad you found a way to reinvigorate specific. your, your D2 <laughs> That's great. It's great, you know? Also, uh, in, in, in reference to the original question, uh, if you're looking for something to do as a viewer to not, like, make the streamer mad, don't say, hey, some this other person's streaming, I'm going to go watch them. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's... That happens quite... Not, not like, quite a lot, but there's probably, like, a few people that do it over and over and over again, and I don't want to be right, to be I'm like, sorry. can you not do that? Okay. <laughs> but it's, it's like, oh, hey, so this person's streaming, I'm gonna go have fun, but it's like... I yeah. usually do that just, with between your You can just your say streams. you're leaving. Yeah, just, like, just... Just, just say you gotta just go. go. Just say, I gotta, I gotta just, go. Just go. See you later. <laughs> Bye-bye. Yeah. 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 Well, there's, there's a few <laughs> etiquette things. One of them definitely is you definitely do not need to announce that you're leaving to watch another streamer. That... Right. Is definitely a faux pas in everybody's eyes who is a streamer. When you see somebody do that, it's like that's you just don't do that. It's like being at a friend's house and saying, Okay, well, I'm gonna go see my other friend now because um they're He's they're fucking home. way more fun than you. <laughs> I'm gonna go to this other birthday party because they have actual oh, power yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Their yeah. birthday yeah. party yeah. just started. Costumes. Thanks. I'm gonna leave now. It's- and I'm sure people, when they're doing it, they're not doing it as a way of like, I prefer this person over you. But that's how most streamers will take it, is you're saying, like, I prefer watching this stream over your stream, so I'm leaving to go to that one. Yeah. So And that doesn't feel good to anyone. So that's something, don't do that, because it, it's, yeah, it's taken, uh, it's not taken graciously. That's why the I other thing, up the multi-stream. The other thing is don't talk bad about other streamers, regardless of what's going on in yeah. their chat. So if they if somebody against Twitch TOS, no. <laughs> yeah. so but like, you can cash, more, you can you can you can bring that, it up though. and be like, oh well, you know, so and so is an asshole because they did this one thing and so and so forth. It's like, don't talk about so and so being an asshole in my chat. Just straight up, don't do it. You're not, you can't come to my chat to bitch and moan about other streamers. I'm sorry, and you can't come to my chat to bitch and moan about the state of Destiny either. It's just off limits. So if you do, if you start talking crap about other streamers, prepare to get timed out or banned. That's not mm-hmm. not cool. Last week, last week I was on the podcast. I streamed you were? the day after the podcast and heard that you guys got a question that was essentially I, I can't remember the exact question, but I heard how you answered it according to somebody in my chat, and I strongly disagreed with his with interpretation. interpretation. With your answer according to his interpretation. Yep. But it was like, I don't know. 
What was the question? Is this what I can't remember exactly? Oh, come on, because I'll tell you. Sorry. That I, it had something to do with like does does what we have in Destiny two like do Destiny one content creators share some of the responsibility for what Destiny two oh, turned out to be? That question. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. And from what I didn't listen to the podcast, but from what he told me, you guys said I. I strongly disagree, but I wasn't on the podcast. I wasn't here. I have no idea what you guys actually said. I only have a telephone report. Mm. Like, I'd just rather not like you give out get... your numbers to listeners. Yes. All the time. Don't you? That's how you no. get subs. Right? Right. Yeah. You can have my number. You do the tier three sub. I'll give you my number. Damn. That's why I'm getting all these random calls. <laughs> uh one final yeah, no, tip it's, it's, that, well, it's not good one final tip also uh don't talk about a streamer's view count whether it's like oh my god yeah like oh wow it's so big it's so small yeah exactly like how come yesterday <laughs> it, it matters what you do with this in life how, how, how comes how come yesterday was numbers. this number and today it's this number wow you got this right now or this you know it's like no streamer wants to look over a chat and be reminded of their view count. Even honestly, even if it's big, it doesn't matter because when you're streaming, you're in your your personal space and you're having a conversation with chat. And then but most streamers don't have their view count up because they don't want to be reminded of numbers when they're streaming. Because as soon as you start thinking about numbers, it becomes a different it, it becomes a different conversation that you're having instead of in the enjoyment of streaming. It's something to look out look at after the stream, exactly and all that information right. is available to you ever. after a stream you can see your numbers that's up one of that. the i've been i've been streaming um every sunday just because i enjoy it fills me up you know i love i love streaming i just can't do it i don't have the time to you. do it what what was that <laughs> what? what what okay um <laughs> i thought i heard something from briar i just no Okay, um, so I, I enjoy streaming on Sundays. It, it helps me to recharge, and um, I, uh, I I actually put the chat up with just the chat. I don't actually mm -hmm. do Same. the screen where you can see the account because I don't really care. You know, I just don't care. You got a drink, man. I know I'm drinking. <laughs> so uh... I've switched to coffee. Briar, do you see the questions that are from patrons in Skype chat? He'll get to it. Oh, okay. He's a professional. Okay. You know what? I'm 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 been leaning forward all night. I'm just gonna Yeah, lean back, man. Lean back, <laughs> relax. Bit. Take a load off, you know. So right. Heavy Battle Mama says, says With the explosion of Monhun, Monster yes. Hunter. Oh, okay. That's not, what I meant. Mm, give me the pickle. <laughs> pickle. <laughs> Do you think more JRPGs, JRPGs, will make their way over to the U.S.? I have a feeling within the next few years we'll see an increase in the game type. Hmm. She also wishes us a happy birthday. That's a very interesting she's question. A good person. Um, she is a good person and a supporter for a, of ours for a long time. But mm -hmm. um, the um, I, I to answer their question, I think that. Anytime you see a game do the numbers that Monster Hunter is doing right now, you, you you're gonna get interest. Just like you saw, you know, PUBG had its time in in the limelight where it was kind of the top dog because it was the only one around, right? And then you're gonna see the, you're gonna see people reacting to that. You're gonna see other companies reacting to that. So I have a feeling that within short order here, you're gonna see some pretty competitive um, games like you know, Fortnite, PUBG that are going to start rolling out because of that response. So in, to answer a question, I think, yes, we're going to see copycat, not copycat, but other games take that genre and it, bring it, it to it, the US. It's just JRPs in general. J JRPGs, geez. Uh, JRPGs. General, JRPGs. What? Can you describe that for, like, the uninitiated? I mean, I Japanese was just talking in general. Role Japanese role-playing game. Role -playing game. What, do you why like is it a little more hardcore? Do you like role playing why games? Is it, why is it a little oh, oh, more hardcore? I'm, I'm getting ready to explain it, Pope. I want you like to explain games? this. No, she's, no, she's I got a so better, much better. Okay. Do you like role playing games? Do you like RPGs? I do don't like, know. Explain that. What is an RPG? I've always played first person shooters. 
Okay, role playing game. You know, you know how the you're building your character in Destiny, and yes. you know, equipping different gear, and you know, yes. think about builds and stuff. Uh-huh. General RPG mechanics. You are role right. playing a character. You feel so like that's doing the role build. playing. In, in, yeah, in that, a... that's the general RPG type stuff. Now, okay. now take that. And do you like Excel spreadsheets? Um, no. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then you'll <laughs> you fucking love you JRPGs. Liar, Nobody likes. Excel spreadsheets. I'm just going with them. I mean, I imagine there's people <laughs> listening to this. I imagine there's people listening to the podcast right now that don't know the term JRPG. So I'm playing Look, J- JRPGs are traditionally RPGs that have a lot of levels of customization, right? Way further than like normal American uh, than normal American or European type of uh, sure. style RPGs. Mainly because a lot of the stuff isn't well explained. It's would you say? Would you say that uh, that's it. it's fair? <laughs> Would you say it's fair to say that the division when it first came out was like an American style um, RPG, and then when it's update and it's no, not right. I think the division yeah. was very much uh, influenced by uh, like things like Diablo and it's, it, it's like, more like an MMO. Like, like the the thing, the, a JRPG will have a lot of customization, a lot of depth to okay. it, and a deep yep. story. That's that doesn't make any fucking sense. Maybe. So how do you how, how does so I, I here's, here, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Well, every time I watch your stream, Tefty, or any of your streams when you're playing Monster Hunter, I watch for a while and I go, "Where's the story in this?" Oh, it's oh, we did the story. So oh, no. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, Monster I see Hunter you in like some random like Monster Hunter, place hitting Monster Hunter has monsters. the frame of a JRPG. But it's not a typical JRPG because of the, yeah. the level of grind that's associated with it. So going back to the original question, um, I don't know if we're going to see Monster Hunter style games come out more. I mean, Donalus is one of those on the PC. It, it, it wants to be a free to play um, Monster Hunter, essentially. But mm-hmm. it's like it's like Destiny. It's a very difficult game to construct and raise up and make fun and, and make the, the gameplay loop exciting. And it's had like 15 years of development from all the iterations and so on and so forth. So it's got a lot of time behind it. Like the reason why Monster Hunter plays really well and has great balance and interest and all that is because it's literally been built for years at this point from different versions so and it's, ported it's, over. It's like the 10th right. iteration of Monster Hunter. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you're, you're seeing – what do you guys think the PC release is going to do to the franchise? Oh, it's going mean, to tons, tons of people. I imagine there's a huge amount it. of people that are waiting for yes. the PC. Mm-hmm. Yes, there, there are. Be, it, it's going to look better. It's going to it's going to have smoother frame rate, but it's going to be essentially the same game probably with all the DLC added in at launch. Okay. I think what could happen is this is uh, for a lot of people this is their first kind of Japanese style game that they've been playing. So what it could do is maybe open up those people who played Monster Hunter are now going to be more open to playing JRPGs that come out. Because JRPGs are always there. Like I played, like Final Fantasy is probably a great example of a JRPG. I don't don't even played it. So I think think it will open up more people to being open to playing Japanese. I'm raising my hand. I don't want to interrupt Watts. But goddamn, you've never played a Final Fantasy pop? Like never ever? He's never has no. Pope never? only plays first person shooters, Briar. I think we should you all find that. a way to go to Pope's house and I've we should live stream. spent my entire life playing, playing first person shooters. Final Fantasy. What was the and first we video game you played, Pope? <laughs> It'll be great. Okay, so nice. in, the, in, the, in the Nintendo era and all that stuff, I don't count. I was young. I was like, uh, why not? I was in elementary I school. I was young. I was young. I was young. I didn't know what's up. <laughs> As soon as, as okay, so as soon as I Halo first Mario yeah. took advantage of me, I don't know. What the fuck. So, since as soon as Halo came out on the Mac, right? What was it on the first? Never Mac, came out on the Mac. Yes, it did. Yes, it Never did. It was uh, ported by Gearbox originally. Came the out in two thousand one, I really? think. Hey, the first Halo was designed on a Mac. I know it was designed on a Mac. It was, it was official. It was supposed to be so, released on a Mac, but Microsoft bought it and had them. Change so when it, it, they changed it to a first-person shooter, I had an Apple, and um, that's when I first played Halo. And as soon as I started playing Halo, I I got hooked, and I've played first-person shooters my entire life. Hmm. Wrong, because so your entire I, life doesn't include your your uh, childhood playing Nintendo. Since then, well, that's not entire life, entire adult okay, life. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. I so, think <laughs> that we need a DCP plays. Mm-hmm. Pope Bear plays Final Fantasy. <laughs> we could do a, we could honestly do a little series of it. You guys have I tried really these games be- before. So I needed to ask I needed to ask a Watts a question about what makes J- Japanese a Jap- what JRPG a Jap- mm-hmm. what's the a Japanese art style? <laughs> What does it mean? Is it like carrying that big ass, like over oversized, that's, like that's, um, unrealistic weapons compared to the body size? I was gonna say that's, that's Monster Hunter, but Final Fantasy definitely has some yeah, of those it, big swords going. On. Like I, anime, I, I want to know anime overtones. Is it like anime? Okay, anime overtones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. so it's not going super cute realism. Girls. It's going no. cute girls. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And cute Always. boys. And, and cute yes. boys. Extremely boys. like <laughs> stylish haircuts. And sometimes that you can't just aren't difference. practical. Often, often you can't tell the difference. So, so I'd be interested, yeah. Pope, to yeah. have you play maybe not the whole like Final Fantasy game, maybe like the first you know few hours like what with us there, mm-hmm. but then also play something like Witcher Three, like the first few hours with us there. So I want you to know that I've started Fallout, I've started Witcher, okay. I've okay. started all those 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 big names like that. All, I get them because they sound RPGs. Just and I FYI. never, ever, ever, have, on any of them, have finished the campaign, ever. Yeah, I mean, those are big I play games. For like those a are a couple those hours, and then I lose interest. Those are games that can easily take you a hundred hours to complete. Right. I, I, I got game. to the. So I'll tell you how far I got in Fallout. You know how you get to that town where you first get your battle suit, and there's that Megaton? first town, mm-hmm. the first town that you got to get to that looks like an arena. It looks Fallout like a sports. Fallout three or Fallout four? The, the, oh, the, you're talking the, Fallout four with the Boston in Boston at the. There's uh, like there's like a stadium Fenway that stadium. you get to, right? Fenway. That I got to that stadium. I I was like, all right, I lost interest and I stopped playing. That's Fallout like, four wasn't good. Okay. <laughs> well, it wasn't. I, I, I've been that way with every game. I haven't. I, I, I every game like that. I get I get in there. I get I get, I go. This is fun. I, it's interesting. And then as soon as it starts getting like, like I gotta go do a bunch of grindy stuff to. I don't know. I just lose interest. Yeah, yeah. The uh, so the difference with Witcher Three is that you do unfortunately have a slow start to it. It's probably like a three hour slow start. But where that game comes alive is that the stories they tell and the the characters. It's almost like reading a book. It's a it's an amazing narrative, amazing Woody story. Baron that they tell. Please, yes. I got to Witcher Three. I'll tell you how far I got to Witcher Three. You know that part where you're like all of a sudden those uh, they they introduce these. Um, they look like the horsemen of the apocalypse or something like you, yeah. you that cutscene. Yeah, I'm, I'm about like, 10 right. minutes in. All right, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, okay. you, you basically got through the wow. tutorial area. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I, and I hate when people tell me like, oh, well, you got to put like 20 hours into this game before it gets good or 100 hours before you even you even like start oh. the real grind. I hate that. Unfortunately, it's true with The Witcher is you got to put, you know, a significant amount of time into that game. But the reward is so fucking good because the stories they tell and the the side quests are so deep and the characters are so good. And I still I still haven't beaten Skyrim. I I got to the underground area where, you know, I got lost and I'm like, fuck this. And I turned it off. Um, I. I don't know. Well, I just, it's okay I just don't get to not be in interested in RPGs. It's okay. Yeah, I just it, it really it, is. I, I try and yeah. I and I play them and then I go, man, this just doesn't keep me. And I think that um, everybody's got taste. Yeah, that's everybody's okay. Got yeah. No, I know, but I, I I'm not I'm not looking. I, I understand that. I'm just saying that my perspective is when when I go to keep my interest, and that's the thing that I found so fascinating about Destiny and the universe of Destiny, is that the activities that I can take my character through. Int- keep me interested it's part of my like i've got add right I, I i like i like to have i can't sit there and do the same thing like i gotta go do other things so when i play destiny it makes people that are playing with me crazy because i'll go three pvp games i'll go do a public event i'll go do a strike i'll go do more pvp i'll go do a raid i'll go do like i i like that that's my mentality i don't like to sit there and grind strikes for you know 10 hours or uh, from like from the Thursday the game releases till the Thursday the raid releases. <laughs> <laughs> Dixie Man. Smash says, "Happy birthday Pope and Briar. Thank you Dixie. Thank you. If you could tell your 18-year-old selves one piece of advice, what would it be?" Hmm. Don't trust Pope. 
I'm just kidding. Um, what would I tell him? <clears throat> uh, buy Bitcoin <laughs> immediately yeah, right? <laughs> and sell it at Life fifteen thousand right? a coin. Not like, not like, not like, like um, you know who to bet in the world series, but like life advice. I don't right. need life advice when I'm rich as fuck. Yeah, that's I not... think, okay, if we're going to do some <laughs> serious advice. That's got a good point. <laughs> serious, serious I can advice. pay for life advice then, you, man. You can no, make a you're, lot you're of supposed to apply this is from your. This is from, like, <laughs> you've experienced your life, and you can give yourself advice based on your life. It's going right. to be this thing called Netflix fucking put stock in the Apple. Look, you're going to think it's going downhill, but it only goes up, for basically. All right. Well, I think uh, for me, I'd probably say put yourself first. I think when you're when you're young, you try and impress people way more than you need to. Maybe you decide to put someone before yourself and before your own success. So just just put yourself first. Focus on yourself first, and then focus on other people. But put yourself first. Important. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would also tell myself, I would give myself the advice of, um, you know, know my worth. I think when I was um, younger, I had a, you know, a hard time believing that I was worth like other people's time and energy, you know, like uh, um, it was a self-confidence issue. And as I got older, I realized that the only people that really matter to me are my family and my, and my friends. And, um, and it's only a small group of people that I really, and that, that, that core group of people, you know, is that rock that you're built on. And cause there's always people, there's always assholes. There's always people that are trying to knock you down in life. And if you put too much stock in them, um, you, you, you tend to get dragged down with them. So yeah, I would tell myself to know the value of my, uh, of what I'm worth. Captain Patty's actually right about this. Invest in Bitcoin, be so rich you don't give a fuck about anything else. But assuming that you can't take that advice, yeah, invest in relationships. Mm. At every point in your life, understand that relationships are the currency that will move you forward in life. Yeah, The people you meet, the friends you make, all of that. It's not only going to improve your life, but it's also going to improve your chances at being successful in life. Invest in people. Invest in relationships. It's a, it's, yeah. it's, they don't teach you that kind of shit in school, but I can tell you, as a nearly 23-year-old, this is kind of the shit I learned. <laughs> 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 on my 21th year of being on this planet, this is some advice, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 sad because I went to my mom. My my grandma was very into material things, and she focused on that, you know. And she pushed away relationships, and it made me really sad. It's something that I learned when she passed away. I I went to her funeral, and nobody was there. Like the Power Rangers like, thing. Like nobody was. The you wasn't there for that. The Power Ranger party. White Power Ranger. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I didn't watch he Power wasn't Rangers. There for the, he wasn't there for this. Oh, there yeah, for the conversation. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't there for the story, guys. Sorry. So there, you know, and it's and it and I really hit me like, I I don't know. I want to live a good life, and it's and it's those relationships, Pat, Briar. You know, that's what you're saying. Look, my my advice: burn every single bridge. I'm not talking about just like friendships and connections and stuff. That Physical you make, bridges, you know. Like even physical bridges, yeah. burn that shit. When uh, you cross it on the highway, you're, you're like burning bridges. Boom! Get, if you're rich, yeah. you can get away with anything. That's true. Yeah, if you're rich, if you invest <laughs> in Bitcoin forward. like I told you to, you don't care. You can build a new yeah. bridge. You got the money. Burn every single bridge. There you you invest in Bitcoin in 1999. You don't give a fuck. Well, I don't. Did it come out I in 1999? Bitcoin was a thing in 1999, <laughs> but whatever. I have no idea. <laughs> I think it was a two, mid 2000s thing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler Waite says, "Happy birthday, fellas! What is the most memorable gift, memorable gift you've ever received?" I'll tell you one, <laughs> right off the bat. I'll tell you two. Um, your kids, my children. Oh, hey, got yeah. it, got it. That's the most memorable for me. Well, thank God Pope took that answer, so I can't possibly use it, and I got to use something interesting. 
<laughs> you could you could say your sick scuff controller use code dcp to get five percent off your own scuff as well it's good for building and drake has one drake, drake has one hey okay. hey. is it gold like that one um it's probably real gold probably what, you, you can make whatever you want gold. it to be with scuff's awesome customizable features i really actually like my dcp themed. no I, I i'm not being sarcastic at all they're awesome mm-hmm. they're awesome i i just took that what was the question most, uh, best gift you've ever received most memorable gift yeah I'll answer because I, I read this question ahead of time, so I I have a answer prepared. I'll give you guys a second to prepare your answers. But actually, my mother gave me a Leatherman like fold out knife. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these things. They have like it's kind of like a Swiss Army knife kind of t- deal. It's a little different shape. Uh, but it was when I went away to college to become you know, a forestry major, which, you know, might have been You're using. A... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a show of hands very, who here's using their degree. It was a very thoughtful gift. And that's what I appreciate about it so much is that like, this is a gift that somebody had put a lot of time and thought into. It was an expensive gift, but it was a thoughtful gift. And those are my favorite gifts. When somebody gives you, Oh, here's a, you know, it's a gift card. Here's a six pack because I know you love beer, motherfucker. You pick that up on the way here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, you appreciate the thoughtful it. ones. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's special. I mean, I, I here this this green screen is silly, right? It's silly thing. It's a silly. Pr- I was I was sitting here and I was talking about getting set up for the podcast, and I and I and I just mentioned to my wife, I'm like. God, this is, I really love to have something back so I could stream once a week, and and like she didn't say anything about it, and um, then like a week later, uh, you know, before the podcast, she it, she she showed me the the green screen as a gift, and it's just it's the thought, right? It's, yeah, it is the it thought. It really yeah. is the thought that counts. Mm-hmm. I mean, she is spending my money, so it's like I bought myself the green screen, right? Yeah, I don't want to mention that part, but yeah, no. You probably don't want to nah, answer. Part. You definitely know. <laughs> okay, it's it our. Really money. is. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I I meant it's our. Money. Where, like you said, you like that thing a year mm-hmm. ago that you saw that you yeah. saw in like a store, and then you have it for a present. Yeah, that's those are the kind of things where it's like, oh, you remembered, or oh, you thought of that thing that I said a long time ago, and you found a gift that made sense with that. I was at a record store with those my wife. I swear to God, it was five years ago, and we saw an Eagles record vinyl record i'm like oh my god this thing's so expensive because it's like a vintage record that i so expensive it was 70 dollars. like i can't i can't justify spending 70 dollars on a vinyl mm-hmm. record that i'll listen to four times and then listen to it on spotify for the rest of my life it shows up in my christmas stocking and i was like that's pretty fucking badass that's right? a big stocking like, god damn no, it was like a Christmas present. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm imagining a sock with a big old record coming out of there. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I got big feet. Okay. Yeah. Gonna, no, that makes sense. Feet shame For me sure. Now? No, no, not at all. Me? Oh, no, dear. Okay. I've been racking my brain <laughs> and to finally realize like, I've, uh, my mom gave me a uh, guitar as a present when I was 16 and it's a Taylor 714 CE and it's pre, um, it's when they were making them with the uh, like the mother of pearl inlays and all that because they don't make them the same. You know, were you already a guitar player when she gave this to you? I okay. So what happened was she um, she's very supportive of everything creative and music and so on and so forth. But there was this one time where I was like, I think I'd like to get a guitar and learn it, and she said no. She was like. You're just not gonna, you're not going to touch it. So why am I going to waste money on a guitar? Look at those fingers. Those fingers can't do the guitar. <laughs> Look at these hands. <laughs> you got a little. You can't hobbit. play. You can't play guitar with those hands. <laughs> so I was like, well, that sucks. Uh, so I went over to my buddy's house and um, I was like, yeah, I'm interested in getting a guitar. Just need to find one. And his mom was like, oh, well, we got this old guitar right here. You could have it. It's like less than a hundred bucks, something like that. You could just straight up have it. Where nobody's going to use it here. So I took that home. Uh, 
walked up and I was like, hey, Ma, I got a guitar. I, I need to get it fixed, though. And she was like, wow, you got a guitar. Crazy. So she went, we went down to the, um, the store, got it fixed. And then uh, I started playing guitar. And then like a couple months later, I was playing like Dust in the Wind. And I, I, I picked it up really fast, in other words. And I was playing it every day. And then she felt bad <laughs> that she was like, <laughs> I'm not buying a guitar. What are you talking about? You're not going to play? And so when she was a little girl... Or not? No, not a little girl. When she was in high school, her mom took her to the um, to the music store and bought her a really expensive saxophone as a gift. And so she felt like that experience to pass it on to me. And so she bought me a very expensive guitar, one of those Taylor Seven Fourteen Cs. Are they're they're expensive if you look them up. Uh, and that's my guitar to this day. I love it. It's got a very unique sound. Oh, that's awesome. I haven't had people offer me money for it before. And I was like, I will never sell this guitar. <laughs> that's awesome. Not with that connection, for sure. Yeah, right. That's I awesome can pl- I can play a good one Wall on this. Okay, yeah. not not that's so. That's a good one. Yeah, I have one that's. It wasn't like a a gift necessarily, but it was definitely a surprise. Um, and that was when I got my first pet bird, who was a parakeet, a budgie, or however you say it. If you're in England, you probably say budgie. Um, so at the time, I was really sick. I was probably around. I want to say 15 and I could pretty much only leave my bedroom for I want to say an hour a day before I had to go back to bed so I was very lonely couldn't go to school because I was sick and the only thing that I could do is kind of look out my window for the most part um so when I looked out the window I would see birds outside and it used to make me really happy because it made me feel like I wasn't as lonely mm-hmm. and so I said to my mom mom I think I want to get a bird and she was like what <laughs> No, you're not getting a bird. What are you talking about? We're not getting a bird. So I was like, oh, okay, it's fine. So I kind of dropped it. And then the next day I woke up, came downstairs, and there was a bird in a cage <laughs> just, just sitting there. And that was probably one of the best pets I ever had. He followed me everywhere. He would fly everywhere. He would eat spaghetti on the side of my plate. Spaghetti. He used to sit on my hand when I'd play PC games. He'd sit on my hand. Really? And uh, yeah, he was. He wanted. Like why you're moving hand. around? Yeah. And when he took, he'd take a bath in the like, like the sink, but he'd only take a bath if he could hold my finger with his little claw. He wouldn't let go to take the bath. So, yeah, that no, that's was really cool. That really that's made a, good a big one difference. Too. Big difference in my life. That's a really mm-hmm. good one. <laughs> Your stories make mine seem sound dumb. <laughs> no, no. Those, are so, those are so meaningful. Here's my baby. Adam Adam Kemry says, can the whole crew... All right, everybody's got to pay attention here. I'm warning okay, you. Pat's not here. So. There's instructions here. Okay. <laughs> can the whole crew pick one ingredient for a birthday cake that definitely won't go well with the previous one oh. and then talk about how it would taste? Wow. So he's gonna start us off with lemon, and I'm gonna predi- I'm gonna say the order. I'm gonna make Patty go last because he doesn't know the rules. I think that'd be funniest. So we're gonna go with me, then Pope, then Tefty, and then Watts, and okay. then Captain Patty. Kay. Okay. What? Just exactly. go with it, Patty. Okay. Just go with it. Just go. Okay. With so, it. Uh, lemon cake. What would go poorly with lemon cake? I'm gonna say jalapeno. Wow, that's actually what I thought too. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, geez. With um, jalapeno cake. With well, no, a... it's lemon and jalapeno cake, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now oh, we're adding it additive. To it, right? I thought it was additive. Oh, added. I thought we were adding. Oh, to okay. It. Yeah, I, I didn't realize. Lemon jalapeno cake. Yeah. Lemon jalapeno cake with uh, uh, um, a mustard um, ganache. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right, and uh, we're gonna put some anchovies filling in the middle. Mm. Delicious, mm-hmm. <laughs> like a butt cake with anchovies through the middle of the butt. Sticking with the uh, oh, God. oh that sounds so bad. Sticking with the A theme. Let's go with artichoke. Oh, nice. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. cooked or uncooked, or are they pickled? Pickled, mm. pickled, <laughs> pickled artichoke. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Captain Patty. Oh yeah. Captain Patty. I'm try- I'm looking up the way to actually pronounce this. It's uh, Swedish. Uh, it's called surströmming. I I think. Uh, it's 
It no, it's a it, it's a uh, it's a herring. It, it's fermented pickled herring. herring. Oh, fermented herring. Fermented pickled herring <laughs> that uh, you can't actually take it on an airlines because the container is so pressurized from uh, the actual fermentation of the fish inside the can. Uh, it is known to cause uh, just immediate vomiting from the second you open the can. Uh, you, yes, you are supposed to open it underwater because when you open it, when you open the can normally, it it sprays all of its contents everywhere. Um, and if any of that liquid gets on your clothes, just burn them. Um, and people eat this? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's uh, usually eaten... Uh, with like mayonnaise and onions. Sounds and, like that uh, would. I, I I I I say that it doesn't go with doesn't qualify because it's just it goes well with um the uh, anchovies. Okay. Mm. In that case, in, in that case, um, uh, I'll add. So I I do have a I rule mean, that I, I think. I feel like they, he trump carded the anchovies. Yeah, anchovies yeah. needs to re- redo it. Who no, did anchovies? No, 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 no. I'll, 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 Look, I, I pulled out first. He trump carded. I know, it, I know. He I pulled ad, out the I pulled added. out the big dick anchovies. Okay, I pulled out the bigger dick than anchovies. So I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, uh, you, you big dicked anchovies. I, I already oh, put it crawfish. in there. I put it as a crawfish. layer in the cake. Okay, nah, we're man. gonna go with crawfish toppings. Crawfish, just crawfish tail meat. If okay. you did, if you did just the crawfish shells. But none of the actual meat. Oh, You'd have me on board. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Alex V says, if you drop soap on the floor, mm-hmm. is the soap dirty or is the floor clean? Mm, wait, is the soap wet? Mm. Or is it dry? That's a good question. And is it liquid oh, or a bar? Yeah, interesting. Uh, <laughs> if it's liquid, I think the floor is clean because you're just gonna yeah, wipe it. True. Out, right? Let me let me say something. If you mm-hmm. drop soap on the floor, you're gonna have to wipe the floor up. <laughs> no, so but it's if clean. it's a bar, you can pick. If you it's can a pick bar, the bar up, up, and then the bar is dirty. Mm-hmm. Is the... I think both are true. I think both no. floor both. is now dirty, both, and the both soap part- is now dirty. Both parties benefit. <laughs> Um, mm. Both mm. parties get fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, m- remind me not to get clarification of what fucked is at Briar's house. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right. Um, I I don't know. I, I I would I would argue that um, the only one that benefits out of all this is um, is you. It's the inmate standing next to you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, good. A winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> All right. Uh, unfortunately, somehow I didn't copy the name of the person who, who submitted this question, but it's a good question. You were drunk. I'm read it anyway, and I apologize. <laughs> Have you all tried the fairly new Frosted Flakes slash Lucky Charms combo cereal? If I not. What would your favorite cereal combo be? Oh, I'm going to assume that none of us have tried this. No. Because we're not that. six years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to say, that sounds horrific. Yep. <laughs> sounds what, mushy. Is there any, like, is there any, like, combo? Like, everybody's tried this at, like, the soda machine, right? Is you've tried two different, yeah, like, yeah, different yeah. sodas yeah, and yeah, mix yeah. them together? Yeah. But cereals, I don't know. It's somehow it's no, somehow there's, very there's, different. There's uh, um, honey bunches of oats. Mm-hmm. I feel benefits from a little bit of grape nuts in there. No, grape nuts is horrific. It's, it's, it's not, not a cereal. <laughs> it's, it's grape also not nuts a is a cereal. Grape nuts what? is a tooth cracking torture device. Okay, so apparently <laughs> you haven't eaten grape nuts properly. Okay, I don't know what those because are. <laughs> what the fuck? How am I, Are you how just am I putting them in your mouth and eating them dry? From a bowl with milk. <laughs> As they soften, they become a a, a mush. Inter, integral part of the of the of the texture of the uh, the breakfast cereal. <laughs> Grape nuts is a is a is a con job sold to you by Big Dentistry. <laughs> Big Dental. Nah. Big Dental. Don't at me. <laughs> <laughs> 
the conspiracy by big dental. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's my that's my story. That's, I love it. Rough. I, I eat it all the time. You know, what I really like. Anyway, gotta, I, I like. Yeah. I like me some cinnamon checks, and I like to mix those into any cereal that needs a little, little, a little something. Okay, like let's say sugar. Yeah, a little sugar. Let's say you want to have uh, rice checks. You want to throw some cinnamon checks in there. Great. Let's say you got some honey nut Cheerios or something. Throw those in there with the uh, with the, the cinnamon checks. It's fantastic. It's delicious. I didn't realize this was a thing that people actually did. Was they combo? Yeah, you know, I've actually yeah, I make yeah. I make some cereal. I used to have a cereal yeah. that was like okay. pretty plain, but it was it was good, but but a little bit plain. So I had the kind. I think it's the kind cereal that has like cinnamon clusters. So oh, I put yeah, yeah. that. I know what you're talking about. Of, yep, yeah. those are good. Yeah, I used to put. I, I, I used to mix that. Are you telling me this kind cereal has crystals clusters? Clusters. Clusters. <laughs> Clusters. Have you not seen I, the I kind brand? A lot, of, <laughs> a lot of the breakfast cereals are too sweet, and it's and it's good to break them. It's all know? sugar. No, it's no, all no, sugar. not all of them. Well, grape nuts is ninety nine percent of them. A lot well, of them are. Features Valley stuff and a uh, kind cereal. Yeah, I mean, kind. they're all carbos, obviously, but they're not necessarily Carbs all. They're not necessarily Carbs all heavy sh- heavy sugar. Work. Yeah. I mean, every household that has kids has had has a, you know, bucket of family size thing of Cheerios. That's like the staple. Kids eat a lot of shit, man. They eat a lot. Just don't want to cook Cheerios. (laughs) Just pile Cheerios. Here's some cereal. Here's here's a bottle of ketchup. Here's some Cheerios. Go nuts. Ketchup. Have you ever done a Cheerio? uh, Like, okay, so you really want cereal? Wait, wait. Male. You get married, you have a kid. Every time you go anywhere, buy milk. <laughs> That's my question. You Just you really it. want cereal and you know, you don't have milk. What's your go-to next liquid? You should have bought milk. You were just at a 7-Eleven like two All hours I'm saying ago. You forgot is to you buy don't milk? have milk. Dumbass. <laughs> I have Amazon dropping, Fresh. So I are you dropping fresh beer in there? Or are you dropping apple juice? You've got any liquid other than milk? I usually put on milk. OJ. I'm going to OJ. OJ? No, no milk. No milk. No milk? No milk counts as milk. I, I no skip milk. the cereal then. I don't have it. I don't, yeah. yeah. I have like it's, toast. It, you have to have cereal. It's a hard Otherwise, pass. It's a hard pass. Only... <laughs> hard pass? Yeah. I'll wait till I, lunch. I'm going OJ. OJ. Mm. Okay. Or Coca Cola. In fact, I would. Coca Cola and Captain Crunch. <laughs> oh my God. When I was a Briar, kid. you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, I only. Uh, how many root canals have you had, Briar? One. <laughs> <laughs> right. I would rather eat it dry than put something else than like yeah. a milk in there. Definitely. Confirmed. Tefty likes it dry. Yeah, my cereal. All right, Adam. His Kemery. cereal likes. He likes his cereal dry. Yeah. Sorry, my apologies. Adam Kamiri says, "Can the whole crew pick one ingredient for a birthday cake uh-huh. that definitely, already, definitely? My bad. Just... My bad. <laughs> JD from the IE says." Long time no see, JD. JD from the IE says, "Would you rather give Larry King a sponge bath or drink a full cup of Mexican tap water?" Love we this answered this last week. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you answering <laughs> no, the questions from did. last week? We definitely did. We definitely <laughs> had this one. Yeah, this was last week. Fire. Are you looking at the wrong week's <laughs> questions? You are. Aren't I don't you? know. Yes, Maybe. you are. You are, aren't you? <laughs> Oh my God! You're fired! <laughs> Holy shit! You can't yeah, fire you're me. Honest. You're fired. <laughs> Maybe you're he asked the same question twice. Maybe he didn't listen to. No, show. I like, think the answer is wrong question. Wrong question. Topher <laughs> says, <laughs> "If you two were brothers, who would be the naughty and annoying one, and who would be the serious and mature one?" I think he's he's talking about me and Pope. Yeah, the birthday bros. The birthday boys. So who would be? The naughty and annoying one, and who would be the serious and mature one? Hmm. I don't think either one of us fit into those categories. I don't think either one of us fit in with the serious and mature one. That's the problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> mm. I don't use. I don't know. I don't know how to describe you, Briar. You're like, you're like a. I don't know. You're like a. I'm like a funny Brad Pitt. <laughs> 
That's what I was going to say. A funny Brad Pitt. You just stole yeah, the words right out of my I mouth. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I would, uh, uh, I will, I'll take the hit on the annoying one just cause, uh, I can be persistent when I, when I, when I want to, uh, it, it don't fit. It don't fit. No. Okay. Next question. I, I think we're both deeper than yeah. two words can describe. I the agree, Brian. You, you are you are an amazing human being. Just so you know that you, you are know? too, man. I Thanks. love you, brother. Love you too. I love you, birthday bro. Yeah, people born on March fifteenth are amazing. Pretty good. Pretty good. We got good averages on March fifteenth. It's good stuff. <laughs> the best kind. The best kind of people. Uh, we got three more questions, and then I promise Patrick can go to bed. What? <laughs> <laughs> you look tired. That's all I'm saying, Patrick. You look mm-hmm. tired. Mahogi Nine says, "You get to pick. You get to pick to be the best at anything in the world. You get to be the we best at anything." Question. We answer. We answer this question. question. We are so <laughs> pulling from the wrong week, Last. dude. This was this was asked eight hours ago. What? We it definitely answered eight hours this ago. last week. We answered this last you week. Are not. We definitely you are, did. You're, you're, you're looking at an old file. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> this was. He asked this again. <laughs> Maybe you guys just didn't do a satisfactory job of answering the questions. You ever think of that? Huh? We Maybe, it's, fair, Pope did Maybe do it this doesn't week. fall on old Briar Rabbit. Maybe <laughs> you guys fucked up and not answered the question correctly. Huh? I'm looking huh? it up right now. There's huh? no way. There's so, no way. So what's the what was the question again? Uh you get to pick you get to be the best at anything in the world, but instead of you getting better, everyone else gets worse. Oh no, this, this is a new question. Oh, it's a different question. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The, oh, other, the first oh, part. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's not Brian Rabbit's fault. The first part. <laughs> last week. It's a new fucking question. Last week it was being the best at a, a, a sport, not non esports. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wow. You guys really jumped the gun on thinking that Brian Rabbit was <laughs> We wrong. definitely did. Really jumped the gun. <laughs> I expect a full written apology. To yeah. Briar, because I thought he was right all along. I think it's appropriate. For shit. Wait, okay. So, what are the parameters of the question again? You're the best at all it. Right, you get you get to be the best at anything, but instead of you getting better, everyone else gets worse. Can so, I for instance, the best at video games because then everyone's getting be, worse, and I can just run around and slay everyone. But, slay it. But, but what mm. if everybody was so bad at video games? Would they even want to play them? You'd be do all they, alone. Do they know that they're getting worse? I'm gonna like, go. Do they know that's a thing? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. See, that well, makes that's gonna be the case with anything. They're not gonna want. They're not gonna want to watch me because there's no point because they can't get better. Hmm. I want to be the. I want to be the 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 best at, at at telling jokes and making people laugh. But yeah. then everyone oh, else geez. gets more boring, which means no, 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 no. Don't go, funny. don't go that. Don't go that. It means they, they find you funny jokes. if they're so unfunny. I am the best comedian there ever was. But then all there the other, be other comedians, there's just all the other comedians Pope. suck. Wow, compared that to means there'd be a lot less co- comedy in the world, Pope. You're really selfish, man. She's holding all that comedy no, yourself. I'm not, I don't. I don't Unbelievable. All I'm You're gonna have to film a that... Netflix special every single day for the rest of your life to fill the void okay. of all the comedy that you just sucked out of the world. They'll just follow me around with cameras, and everything I say will be hilarious. So no, I will no, be Pope, on you're film. missing the point. Everyone no, you're not else getting better at comedy. Yeah, your your baseline where you're at now. Everyone else just suddenly gets worse. Uh, the question says like, you're the best. Yeah, but yeah, if everyone you're else gets best, worse, I'm currently the best at I, I don't know. Uh, you're, the ad you're reads. currently as funny as you are now. Like everybody else, just got less funny. To make you the most funny in the world. This sounds like a dangerous question. So I'm going to pick yeah. rowing a boat. Because I never row a boat. <laughs> but everybody else will be awful at rowing oh, boats. Oh, what about all those people in countries that can't afford actual fucking motors for their boats, Tefty? Uh, that, that relied on roll actually boat. rowing the boats, huh? Hey, hey you're so bad at rowing They might be bad right at now. it, but they could still get from point this A to point old. B, okay? No, but yeah, no, they can't. Yeah. You're so bad now that they're worse than you. No, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not. I could definitely row a boat. All right. Have you tried rowing a boat? Yes. When's the last time you rowed Are a you boat? Theoretically good. I'm. Th- yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been trained in whitewater rapids rescue? Whoa! This is. I'm not rescuing anybody. <laughs> this is. I'm going across the lake to fetch some wood. 
That's a damn so, good question. So Jesus. now there's a guy that that his Happy job is whitewater rescue, people. but now he can't. He can't rescue because anyone. he's worse than you. I'm There's just saying, like Tepsi, my baseline, it ain't amazing, but I got the canoeing merit badge and the whitewater merit hey, badge. That's a two for Just because right you didn't think about this, that's not that's not my problem, all right? I thought about <laughs> rowing, about okay? You just made, you just made uh, freaking Patrick lose his badges is what you just did. Yeah. <laughs> when exactly. was the last time you went rowing? I used to teach those. When was the last time you went hopped in a boat and rowed? Uh, about four years ago. Okay. And when was the last time before that? You don't really ride, by the way. You don't ride. When was the last time you <laughs> There's floated? There's a song that's descriptive of this called it's, it's row, goes, row, 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 row your boat. Row, row. <laughs> it's kind of an old one. You may not know it. Gently it's down not the only a catchy tune, but it tells you how to actually tells you how row, to operate row, a boat. Your well, boat. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit loose with the details because you can row, row, row your boat, but if you stick Gently your paddle on the same the side, side, you're just going to be fucking spinning in circles the, the entire time. Good point. You have to you row, nail it 100%. Sides, row, row. And really, <laughs> you got they, they, their instructions are oh, focused on very simple, you know, they're were, they were going for the, the, the minimalist instructions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I think I've got a pretty minimal impact. I, there could be some casualties. But I'm not making the, I'm not sucking the comedy out of the world, all right? Mm. Uh, I talk to all the people. I kind of want to fuck places. over the whole world. Uh, oh. So I'm going to say I'm the best at doing my taxes, oh, which we've already established. I don't do my taxes. If you listen to the pre show through Patreon, <laughs> oh, I like this actually because if Patrick. Who doesn't do his taxes is the best. No, I person. do. Th- I I give them to someone else to do. Okay, that's right. that's you how good do I am. Taxes. Uh, you you actually you said to us that you did your taxes and we said well what was your return or how much did you have to pay you said I don't know I haven't gotten them back yet yeah you know nothing about taxes so if you're the <laughs> best person at taxes the government's gonna the collapse the bar is set so low <laughs> so low I can do whatever the fuck I want on my taxes that's like, right I can be the like, people maybe the government the give them. won't even know. <laughs> I like this, Patrick. I like this. <laughs> but are our roads going to deteriorate into dust from the lack of? Uh, probably. probably. How about we get four wheel drive and we drive a little bit slower? We don't need to drive sixty five. We can do. <laughs> Look, like what do you have, Look, What if you have to row a boat across the lake to get groceries? No, 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 no it's be a problem. Well, we have this song that's very instructional. I don't know if you've heard it. Yeah, but row, I'm row, the row, best. Row. Everybody's worse, and it's gonna. It's <laughs> well, maybe your job is going to be capsizing in other words. across the lake from now Hefty. on. It won't matter if the roads go to shit. We do, it doesn't matter because taxes are – we're not going to bother doing them. So I can just go buy like a fucking sick four-wheel drive, 4 four by 4 Ford F-550, and then boom, I don't care about the roads anymore because I don't have to pay about uh, – worry about taxes. That's how this uh, works. All I'm saying is this conversation is a bit ridiculous. I think you need a Much- Humvee. That way you can go across. Now anything. it's believable. Now yeah. it's there. Believable. You go. There you go. This is a so. F- I'm just tossing this out there. If you were the best at sex, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no matter how bad you are at it, you still want to do it. Okay. Okay. All right. Right. I'm following I mean, you. Nobody's, All right. Nobody's gonna stop doing sex. Uh, yeah. Because they point. suck at it. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. But if you're the best at it, you mm-hmm. might gain some notoriety, some followers. Yeah, <laughs> some followers. Following. You get some likes, some retweets. Sure. <laughs> you know, Briar. Same. You're absolutely right. You, you got it. The biological point. cycle does require us to procreate, regardless yeah. of how bad it yeah. is. Yeah. Huh. Briar Rabbit for president. Yeah. There we go. Briar Rabbit. You could be the best. It, that could be. That could be it. <laughs> Best at doing the sex. It's not a great plan, (laughs) but it works out for me. (laughs) Think about all the like you know movie deals you'd get. You'd be famous. Could probably you could probably film a lot of movies. Wait, guys, Mm -hmm. I got it. (laughs) Okay, okay, I'm the best at being the most famous person. That's what I would do, and then no one's famous anymore, except for you. Yeah, but no, but like I'm, there's other famous people. They're just no, no, not good at no. it. So exactly, like, I'm the, wouldn't that mean we get all of those like, is. 
Wouldn't that mean that we just, get all of those really awful people that are famous then? Yeah, but now they're, they're not bad famous at being famous, anymore. But now they're, they're not. Just... They're bad at being famous, so they're going to fall out of being the famous eye. I fucking suck at being famous. So then there we go. Because I'm not famous. Get it? How do you know you suck at being How famous? How does this benefit anybody, Patrick? Yeah, because Patrick, now we're gonna, not going to live in a world where fucking like Logan Paul or whatever his name is, is you know, like the, the Internet celebrity. Now we're going to live in a world where like people like Tom Scott, the guy that's actually, you know, doing doing cool YouTube stuff is on, on top of trending all the time. Hmm. No, interesting. You'll be trending all the time. Yeah, yes. you, Shit, it, I didn't it think will be nothing that. but you. It's just you, Pat. It's just you. Yeah. Uh, what's, 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 what's your your gumbo would be all over Twitter. OK. I can John with Johnson that. never makes Miami Vites because he's never as famous as Baby Patrick. Yeah, that was pretty adorable. <laughs> I can imagine. All right. Hmm. Watts, are you in on this? I, All right. I, I, I don't. Yeah. I don't know how to ruin the. I don't know how to not ruin the world. <laughs> Besides, the only thing I can think is gaming. Because uh, would you still enjoy games if you were bad at it? Yeah, yeah. No. I'm, I'm horrible at games and I enjoy them. There you go. So now I can just ask, I just beat up on everyone. Ask fifty percent. Ask ninety nine percent of the League of Legends players. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, we're there fine. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll just beat up. I on mean, everyone. I think games great. inherently are fun, even for, you know, for people. There's very few people who are like really good at the games that we play, right? A very That's small true. That's true. amount of people. I mean. And then it's it's, also, it's just about getting together and sh and shooting the shit with your friends. And so, but even then, know. it's like single player games can be as easy as the developers want them to be, and you still get a narrative and like a cool story. Like Last of Us, I think is like one of the most amazing. Too. Ooh, so that's a good point. So if Watts is the best at video games, right? Yeah, that means yeah. that the developers Pretty will be bar, making what, the developers will be making them all their games. To the least common denominator, right? So Watts, are you saying therefore, Watts is the least common denominator? No, 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 no. Wow. The people, the people wow, that are going to buy the game, <laughs> the majority of people. The, the oh. and so now she is now getting games that she no longer likes because, because they're not being they're made for her. We'll be getting Sorry. games like Destiny Two, for casual. Wow. <laughs> Ouch, <laughs> hefty. I was <laughs> implying, and you just went like, <laughs> "What's this? A wound?" Uh -uh. Uh, uh. Ramos Network says <laughs> if you had the power to delete anyone you don't like from this planet oh but the only way to do it is to have sex with them <laughs> Briar is picking wow. very odd questions who would this, you delete uh, I don't I, mm. I, 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 I respectfully remove myself from this question to delete enough people to take down a tyrannical government, you're going to have to have sex with a lot of people. A lot. Or you people. just got to have sex with number two. And you know what, Briar? You are the There's best. There's always number two. So right? your job is cut out. You got you got yeah. your work cut out for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Most I, interesting I, Korean. I honestly Last say... Question. Yeah, last the, question. whatever. No, no, you go to last question. Last question. Last question. <laughs> whatever person you choose, there's always going to be somebody <laughs> behind them. And yeah, they, they, yeah. Them. Anyway, don't don't look into that too much. The last question. Yes. Most interesting Korean. Long time no see. Again, happy mm -hmm. birthday. A old friend of mine has said something weird happens with your pubic hair when you get old. Jesus Is fucking that Christ, bro. <laughs> what? Okay, go ahead. I don't know. I'm only 21 and a half, so I have no idea. Pope, you want to <laughs> expand on this? Um, <laughs> I respectfully um, remove myself from the answering of this question. Oh, you're just holding the knowledge back from the public that needs to know. I, I feel like some things are best experienced um, by the individual. What? And What was the question? I don't, don't, don't why, 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 why to you ask that, when you get old. I don't want to know. I'm not. Do, does is the question does? I'm I'm taking these off. Is that, is that... <laughs> look, look, motherfuckers. There's there's a thing called Google, an incognito mode. Use it. You don't even need to go incognito. You don't need, yeah, you really don't. <laughs> it's not that big. It's yeah, it's not where's Doctor Ruth? Where where <laughs> where's are we her, concerned uh, about the evolution of our pubic hair? <laughs> Just shave it off. I don't, yeah. I don't know if it's so much evolution, it's just aging. Aging. De de degrading. Degradation. 
The degradation. I'm, I'm wondering what he means. Is he talking about degradation? Is he talking about length? Like uh, over time? Right, maybe guys, they get, get curly? Guys, thank you all for curly? tuning maybe, maybe in. Maybe get bold spots? Cur oh, shit. Twitch yeah. terms of service. <laughs> thank you all for tuning in to the 76th episode of the Destiny spot. Community Podcast. <laughs> um, thank you, Briar Rabbit. For making You're sure welcome. this episode can't be monetized. <laughs> this new channel on Twitch cannot ever get partnered. Uh, and happy birthday. All in one episode. All, happy yeah, birthday. Just, just well done. And it's we'll really just go back to like, Tefty's channel. Questions. It's fine. We're yeah, fine. We'll, we'll go back it's to Tefty's channel. Are you okay with that, Tefty? Okay with that, right? No, no we... I was like, no. We, we, no. we got to lie in this. We made, we made our bed. We're lying in it. Uh, uh, okay, well... <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. If you want to find more of me and my Power Rangers stories, uh, I'm at Holtzman underscore YT on Twitter. <laughs> I'm Briar Rabbit. You can find me streaming weekday afternoons over on the Briar Rabbit channel. You can see me occasionally making a video on YouTube or uh, talking on uh, Twitter at the Briar Rabbit. Uh, I'm Teft Teft. You can talk to me at Teft on Twitter. Uh, catch my streams, twitch.tv forward slash Teft Teft. Normally around 6 p.m. Pacific time for the, the nighttime crew. Uh, and I have a Twitch channel. Oh, yeah, it's a YouTube channel as well. <laughs> That's what it is. YouTube. I'm Miss 5000 Watts. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube at Miss 5000 Watts. I got to say, guys. Been, with this, this is has been. The best shows we've ever done. Jesus. <laughs> This has been Pope Bear, and you can find me on Twitter at Pope Bear or hanging out in these channels. Actually, no, I've been streaming once a week on twitch.tv forward slash Pope Bear. And it's been a lot of fun hanging out with people that stop by. Briar, you are off the rails right now. All right. So that, just so you guys know, next week we have Mylan Games on the podcast. We're excited to have another a lore master on got a lot of stuff to talk about this is his um, second time right pope well he was shared with uh we had him on uh oh, we had him on with wife at the same yeah. time yeah and i was I, that, I, uh, was that this podcast or was it the last podcast last podcast okay. so it's been a while Still amazing i can't wait to have Mylon. My, my, my he's a great guy and he's uh i like his style of uh lore mm. uh he does a lot of him and a whole group of people did a lot of work in D1 and it's really going to be interesting. I have a lot of good questions for him. Um, we also have a um, I just want to take a moment to thank our patrons. We um, have launched a very extremely successful Patreon and it's allowed us to do some really cool things this weekend. We're going to be doing a Let's Play that we will be able to hire a professional editor to put that together and give that entertainment out to you guys. I was shocked um, that we were raised enough for Tefty to shave his beard. I mean, that was a huge that stretch goal. Huge. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it's crazy. You know, that we like, we didn't even expect it. That stretch goal doesn't <laughs> even exist either. So the fact that you're saying that we made it <laughs> blows my mind really. And just, you know, it's just, it's just great that we get to have this type of relationship, you know, where, you know what, Tefty, you know what else didn't exist is the stretch goal to have you sing. During the Guardian Con live stream, true, and yes, it, it happened. happened. Yeah, it happened because it happened. because I was willing to open my heart. That's why, you know. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, look, did. are we are we having a block during Guardian Con? By the way, yes, we are. Okay, so, I, and I would like to I would like to say that if we raise a hundred thousand uh, dollars, first of all, I will go vegetarian for a whole year. Yeah, right. No, you won't, <laughs> motherfuckers. I am serious about my charity. Last goals, year, okay? last year you know we what? raised one hundred and twenty thousand, one hundred thirty thousand dollars. No, we didn't. So yes, we did. As a, as a group, as, shit. as a group, Patrick we did. Patrick actually tried to make this a goal for last year. Yeah, I tried. I tried to make a goal for last year. Are you year. secretly wanting actually, to be vegetarian? I think no. Patrick wants he to, wants be a to connect with his girlfriend. Ah, uh, a little bit, a little bit of that to too. But I also. See. Uh, also, looking for an excuse to go vegetarian. All right. Yeah. It, yeah. You want to I, I'm not going to do it on my own. Good luck if you forced. go vegan. Vegetarian. Oh, I'm not going. No, 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 no. I like cheese. Okay. Um, not, not happening. At a hundred grand, you, uh, you, um, you destroy your your no your competition no, magic off. deck. No, fuck off. Um, <laughs> no. 
Uh, no, no. If if we get if we, hundred thousand during our block, not collectively. Oh, got it. Our block. Okay, fine. You're gonna yeah, go vegetarian. That, that's the goal. Yeah, you're I'll gonna go vegetarian. Go vegetarian. We'll all come up during. You know that steak's not something. vegetarian, right? You know that, right? Right. I, I'm that's very like worried. Steak <laughs> is not vegetarian. Okay. Just want to make sure. <laughs> chicken, chicken is 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 meat. <laughs> yeah, chicken also chicken not. Also yeah, chicken bacon Alfredo baby. is not vegetarian. Bacon. bacon is not a vegetable. No. Yep. Lamb okay. is that? No, nope. that's me. Okay. Nah. That's me. Sausage. Yep. Also, also, also me. Actually, also you can get body. vegetarian sausage, right? Can't you? you can. They're very good. I recommend yeah. field roast sausages. They're from Seattle, and they're amazing. There you go. <laughs> Sounds good. So we have 269 patrons that have made it possible for us to do the things we do. Um, some of the awesome benefits that you can get over there are, you know, being able to listen in on the audio of the Discord from the pre podcast chat you get um we're gonna post the names of uh the the patrons in the chat uh after the after this uh stream we're gonna run the names and i also want to do a shout out to our patron um these are our patron um producers right and so these are the people that um have made a substantial way of supporting us and um, are helping us to grow. Um, so Andrew, Tyler, Rico, Nick, Alex, Orioles, Joker, Taylor. Yeah, the first three names could have been one person's names: Andrew, Tyler, Rico. <laughs> that is, one guy's name. That could be one like, dude. <laughs> I'm not reading the last names just because. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna put them in the end. So Andrew uh, Slagan, thank you. Tyler Wait, uh, Rico J, Nico Slavo, Alex Quali. Um, Orioles, Joker, Danube, Taylor, um, Rosenau, Adam, Kamiri, and Brandon Smith. These are the these are uh, our patron producers that are supporting the podcast in an amazing way. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <sighs> All right. Do we get to know what the drinking game is? Yeah, I think it's time. Yeah. Right? Okay. Let's time. have it. Tell them. All right. So anytime Watts types in chat. Anytime okay. Tefty touches his beard, which we knew, and anytime uh, uh, Holtzman looks tired or tells us he's tired. or tells us he's tired. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I'm not going to lie. Watts was not in chat a lot tonight. I was, she was, I was she surprised. Was, I was afraid of that one, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. I, that's what I thought was going to fuck us. <laughs> yeah. But sure. Tefty was all over that beard. Oh, he <laughs> stroked that thing. I, I, I just. <laughs> I wonder I, if it's, I wonder if Meme is jealous of his. First 15 minutes to the podcast, I've been like. <laughs> you have just been ringing the bell the whole time. You know time. what happened also? Like, I had another window open uh, because, you know, we changed the channel. And I was getting double back audio for, like, the first minutes. So I was freaking out, too. I was like, oh, God. Like, what's happening <laughs> during, like, the first minute of intro? And nobody in chat was saying a double audio. So I was like, okay, chat can't hear this double audio happening. And, and it was just a hidden window that happened to open up. Um, but I actually caught wind a little on the early side, and so I decided to test it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Started fucking with it. I did. <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well done. Well, is that it? We got it? Yeah. I think that's it's it. the episode, all right? right we're, we're good. We can stop, like, recording. Okay, no, no, first of all, bye. No, 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 we, we're doing the outro this time. Yeah, it's, oh, it's We do an outro now to record uh, now for patrons, right? No, no, yeah. no, we're doing the outro on the video. Yeah, we so okay. we have an official Shoot. video now. So we guys, you got to find somebody to raid right now. I'm gonna click on the video. I have one. Thank you guys for hanging out. We will see you Thank next you week. Guys. Also, bye bye. Bye everyone. Bye. Ring do the we, bell. Do we